Blah, blah, blah. Hello, hello. <laughs> What's up? How's everyone doing? I am a bit tired. Again, I woke up not long before the stream, so my brain is almost completely disconnected from its uh from itself, but um I'm here. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I was gonna just like turn off the music and just start gaming right away, but then this song came on. And I feel like it'd be illegal if I didn't, like, let the song play there. I feel like it would be, like, the worst thing ever. Because the song's so good. But yeah, we're gonna play uh, the rest of Resident Evil 3. We should only have, like, two more areas. Um, I'm gonna run back through the... Um, I believe I'm gonna run back through the hospital as Jill. And then, I believe we go towards the lab. And then it's probably, like, a two hour sequence down there maybe depending on how efficient i am um and then we'll switch over to mahjong for however long that is i have no idea how long we're going to play that but i might lose time to it it's been a while since i've actually really played i did get on the other day and i played like two matches um but that definitely was not enough to shake off the rust i am using a relatively newer account um so hopefully i'm not getting like bodied by people who are really good because I'm certainly not good, but uh, Crystal redeemed uh, <laughs> Mahjong stream, the first person to do that um, back during my anniversary. So that's something that we have to uh, have to slash want to do. So and looking right now at the uh, amount of ammo that I have on Jill, I am scared, but we'll find out. I remember what's going on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, my ammo is scarce, man. I got like 16 shotgun rounds. I have a decent amount of handgun rounds split between two handguns. I don't know. The thing about the three is, though, is that they kind of feed you what you need for the most part. So, I should be fine. I'm definitely fine. But uh, as soon as the song ends, we'll switch over because I like the song. But I hope everyone's having a good night. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's almost done. <laughs> Um, let me see something. Yeah, everything looks okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, everything's running okay. And yeah, the song's almost over. Yay, great song. Anyway, uh, game capture. Here we go. And I need to turn on the game audio. No, 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 Give me one sec. Okay. I was hearing every little thing that people were doing outside my window, and I was just like, alright, I need to close that. I think everything should be good. Alright, so we just woke up from uh, dying from the uh, T-Virus, and uh, we were playing as Carlos, and now uh, she's just like, where is everyone? Damn right you are. Nope. Why did you... That's kind of a big hole to have in the ceiling. I wonder if they can, like, World War Z over that wall. I don't know. And this seems kind of redundant. Actually, no. I think even if I held out in a zombie apocalypse situation... If I had, like, metal shutters, I'd still put stuff in front of the window. You never know. Fair enough. Alright, what do we have here? Handgun rounds? Did anything in here respawn? No, why would it? Alright. So yeah, I have uh, this handgun with a reserve of 31 ammo. 
and then I have this one that I'm only keeping on me just because it has 33 rounds in it. I don't plan on reloading it. It's just kind of my emergency, uh, my emergency reserve. I actually... Are you... Are you gonna react? Are you okay, man? Why are you all back? Or did I not kill them to begin with? I may not have killed them to begin with. Um, give me one sec, uh, zombies. One sec. Alright. Bit overkill, but uh, I don't feel like dealing with that. It's probably a still hunters or lickers or something like that in here. I don't know. I don't actually remember this part. And Jill can get here. I'm assuming the upstairs... Oh, no, no, no. I crawl through the thing up top. That's how I do it. Right. Hello? Oh, we're good. Alright, let's see. Hmm? Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Oh my god. Come on. Okay. And then Jill can open these. If I had brought her pick clock, I put that away? Wait a minute. I didn't know I... Why did I put that away? Did I think I wasn't going to need any? I guess I wouldn't. I don't know. Let me run back and get my pick lock. Don't you bite me. Actually, it has no head, so... If anything, something in here will. Oh, there's a lock on that door, too. Yeah, let me... Let me... Sorry, I'm back. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Uh, there it is. Oh, yeah, I did put it away. Why? Why did I do that? Honestly, I have no clue why I did that. I was probably just cleaning up everything and was like, yeah, I don't need a lockpick anymore. I'm going to trust that you're actually still dead. Probably not, but it's okay. Alright, surely something good's down here. Maybe? It just looks kind of foreboding down here. Wait. Am I going where I need to go? I think I'm going where I need to go. I don't want to go where I need to go. Yeah, I think this is the correct way to go. And that's not what we want to do right now. I want to go upstairs, drop down, and grab that item that's right here. Hey, Rooted. How you doing? It's funny, I didn't even see, like, the message come up in the in the chat. I saw the, uh, the animation for, uh, <laughs> for the emote in the corner of my eye, and I was like, oh. I kind of forgot there was this much death in this room. I got startled by the dead. Alright, you're still dead, right? I'm gonna bite my ankles. No, you're good. Cool. There's probably another hunter. Um. You're still dead. That's nice. That one's crazy rooted. I think it's over here to the left. Yeah, I don't know why, uh. Ya boy couldn't do that. Get up, please. Alright. Oh, yeah, I still on my way back. I also need to open up the locker that is, uh. Um. That is right in that glass room. Oh, yeah, this is a very good thing to not have, uh. Forgotten. Collect all weapons in the campaign. Alright, good. Um. Yeah, this game is definitely a lot shorter than, um. Than two. 
lot of people like really dislike this remake though i don't think it's that bad i think it's pretty pretty fine it's just i think as a modern game i think it's a bit underwhelming just because of the fact that it is such a short game and so you're here paying you know 60 dollars or whatever for a game that you're gonna beat in five hours but Compared to Resident Evil 1, I mean Resident Evil 2, I mean Resident Evil 1 as well. Resident Evil 2 having the ability to, um, uh, wait, I still have stuff in the room back here, right? That's where this is. Um, compared to Resident Evil 2 and having, uh, I don't know, it's, it's about like a seven hour campaign maybe on your first try for, um, for the, uh, okay, I don't have space for that. I do want it though, so I'm gonna have to come back. But, um, well, a seven hour campaign one way through, and then playing it again as the opposite route adds another level of, um, progress to it since you know you play as a uh, player. And you, oh my god, where did you come from? Jesus. Um,. Yeah, since you get to go back through as Claire and or Leon, depending on who you did. Plus, it changes a bit. Where? Yeah, actually, where did you come from? Because this guy's sitting right here. But, yeah. And then on top of that, I think there's a... There might be a different ending, depending on which order you play them into. Um, Lightning, Hawk can go in here for now. The spare explosive rounds can go in here for now. I'm scared to put this away now, because the last time I put this away, the game was like, hey, by the way, you need this for this boss fight. And I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you for making me need something. That is one thing that I think is kind of annoying. Since this game is so linear, it kind of just expects you to like hoard everything and be prepared to use any of your items at a specific time. Where I think one and two, at the very least, allows you to have a little bit more versatility to what you're bringing. Like, yeah, you definitely could get through this entire game probably just with a handgun. Um, but it's definitely not as easy as doing it in 1 and 2. But that's one thing I used to do a lot of in these uh, Resident Evil games, especially the, the older ones. Why didn't you comment on that earlier? Um, yeah, I used to do like lots of challenge runs. Knife only runs. Uh, handgun only runs. Um no hit runs i did that for um what was it i think it was five and four i think i did that for i go back and save one more time i was always afraid of dying and then having to retrace my steps or forget that i did something and then not do that part so i save scum to all hell in this game unless unless um what's the word Unless uh, I'm doing a challenge run. Because some of these games have achievements where it's like, uh, beat the game without saving more than five times or something like that, right? Like to get a specific achievement. So then I, then at that point I have to be conservative. But otherwise I'm like, save every time that there is access to a save. It makes things so much easier than worrying about uh, how far you get set back. You don't say. It's the most suspicious place to have inside of a, a hospital. I don't know how nobody knows this is here. I'm assuming nobody knows this is here. I think later on this there's a boss fight on this specific thing. Oh my god, the boob physics. What the hell, Jill? We are on a stream right now, man. Alright, anyway. I didn't even know there was, like, boob physics in this game, to be honest. But now I know. Although I don't think that's quite how it would work, but, uh... Ah, oh, this. I am excited for the railgun scene, though. That's uh, that's always a fun part. I feel like it could have been done better in this game, but, um... It's still fun. Hey, put a, put a railgun in the game and I'm pretty content. That's why I'm so, like, happy with, um, <laughs> Helldivers right now, because that game just has the constant railgun energy. 
Um. Yeah, there's nothing in this room. All right. Oh, we're in a save room. Expansion. Um. Oh yeah, I don't have any meds on me. Make one. Yeah, I have I have nothing as far as meds. It's actually, kind of a bad thing. Um, I'm gonna put this away just to conserve space. One thing I will say that's really nice about this game. Thank you for the head pads, Rams. Uh, that is nice about this game is um not having to need to use the storage box as much as possible because with obviously one and two there's a lot more like puzzles and, and things like that that you're carrying around this gem to get this key to open this box to get that thing this game doesn't really have puzzles it's just kind of straight up action that was elegant you gonna say something now no Which is something I kind of miss too. I do somewhat miss I respect your puzzles, but. But I'm afraid our games end here. Oh, you're naked. Don't mind me, zombie. Excuse me. It's actually kind of creepy. Alright, I have just enough slots for these. Shotgun rounds? Alright. I'm here for that. The you giving me it is a little bit problematic. Can you please use the elevator? I mean the <laughs> ladder. Oh no, dogs. Come here. Come here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Come here. Come here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Bye, puppy, puppy, puppy. Alright. Got some handgun ammo. That's very nice. Very nice. I am excited for the rumors of, um... Can I not go up this? I guess not. The rumors of a Resident Evil 5 remake. That is incredibly exciting. Is that that is um I wouldn't say is the best of the Resident Evil games. But I think I put probably the most amount of time into it. And it um it has co-op. I would really love to be able to play Resident Evil 5 with some people and um you know, have it be more modern and not have the constraints that it had of being a 2010 game or whatever it was. I think it was 2010. I don't know, it was like Xbox 360 era. Uh, let me go through here real quick. Is this where I came in? This is not where I came in. Oh, that's not the right weapon. Ooh. What was that? I'm going to get bit for this. Oh, it's, a, it's lore. It's lore. Wait. Is this where I need to be? I wish there was a slide. Yeah, I do need to be here. Oh, there's something behind me. Is that a dog? Oh, that's not a dog. Ooh. Jill? Shouldn't want to shoot there. Alright. One more. It's not a horror game without fuses. I feel like if the game doesn't have the option to slot fuses into a power box, it's not actually a horror game. I guess I have to go back up through there. Like that's a requirement, I guess, for horror games. You need a fuse. You need something to either uh, cut chains and or tape. So you either need like a box cutter or like a, a bolt cutters. Please don't attack me. Um, oh, loop back here. That's nice. And then you need um, maybe an axe or something to cut down a door or something like that. 
a crowbar to pry open a vent or something. I'm trying to think what else is like required. Where's the last one? Over there? I think. Um, are these regenerators? I forget. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He's not okay. Can I like? Nope. Not with the not with the knife. I'm just gonna go. I'm wasting ammo. Goodbye, buddy. Those look so much uh, creepier looking than the ones that are in um, Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5's uh, regenerators are just kind of like weird. Because everything in 5 is just like goopy. It's all just like, they're like black sludge goopy things. Alright, it's, it's back here, I guess. Damn. Oh, hello, hello, welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. How you guys doing? Hi, Nemu. How you be? Let me, uh, I didn't mean to unpause that, but tab unpauses that. Let me give you a shout out here. There we go. Incoming? What do you mean, Garrett? Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. You're playing some Smash Bros. I haven't played Smash Bros. in forever. I need, I need to play that again. It's been a very long time. Also, I love, I love seeing my, my new emotes there. My new googlies. Welcome in. We are playing some Resident Evil, and then later on we're going to play some uh, Mahjong Soul food check. I ate uh, three hours ago. Three hours ago I ate. Yes. And now that's on cooldown for five years. But yes, thank you. Thank you for the raid, Nemu. Hope everyone is comfy coming in from the Nemu raid. It's always a cozy time with Nemu. Thank you for the pets. Alright, let's see. Where is the last... Oh, is it up there? Who ordered all this fucking anime titty? I ordered the anime titty. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Hey, Foxy. Welcome Who in. Who ordered Raiders. all this fucking anime titty? Oh my god, why are there more anime titties? What's happening? <laughs> Let me get a uh, shout out for you. There we go. And you were on... Oh, you were on Nightingale. You two were playing together. That's right. That's right. Where they, how did that go? Did you start a new world or did you just jump into um, Garrett's existing world? Uh, I hope you have a good stream. Thank you for the shout out. Smash was so fun. Nostalgic. I've been meaning... I want to get a Smash night together where everybody like plays uh, the new Smash. That would be really, really fun. I couldn't stream it because I don't have a capture card, but... Smash. Just like a, let's all hang out on Discord and Smash, you know? Yes, yeah, smash. Uh, join Foxy's world. Hi, hi, you beautiful puppy boy. Hi. Hi, Rain. I uh, made my own world. I'd smash you. I mean, name, time, and a place. <laughs> How do I get over there? I don't. I don't actually even know if I need to get over there. I don't remember the other one is. I thought there was already a fuse in the in the box. Or is this does this go up here somehow? This one doesn't actually have a terminal. I don't remember how to get up there. Next weekend, all right, bet. <laughs> oh wait, have I used this? I use this right. Wait, what's the point? Of this elevator because I can get there from there. It's just a quicker route, I guess. Yeah, this is pointless. I'm gonna keep this down because I don't remember if I have to fight here, and it might be important for me to have this. This might be a nemesis situation here. How's your zombie killing doing? It's going good. Right now, I am just uh, Nikolai and chilling while he. I don't know if he's actually still standing up there. I don't see him if he's standing up there. But we're we're doing good. Uh, oh, Fufu, we are doing things early tomorrow or same time as usual. I don't know. I don't think we ever really... Oh, okay. All right. I don't think we ever really settled on a, on a time. Yeah, I'll stay in caution. It's fine. 
I don't think we. I don't think we decided. It sounded. It, I don't know. It sounded between between what you guys were saying, it sounded like we were doing it like normal times, like nowish times. But I don't. I don't know. Nope. There is still another fuse missing. Oh God. And you don't? I don't want to go through that room again. That's that's a, that's a that's a bad room. I forget if you can actually kill these guys or not. A lot of the times you can kind of overclock a thing. I'll ask Kieran because I, I want a full day of it. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'll be around all day either way. Because like between between you and I think it was, well, Rain won't be joining us for a bit because we gotta remember that Rain. Rain has this whole day, like, filled out. So, even if we do play all day, Rain said that they wouldn't be available until... ...later. Yeah. So that would be the main thing. But, I mean, if Rain's alright with us starting, then we can start, and then Rain can join in, but... Um, otherwise, we'd have to wait until the evening anyways. Or our evening, I don't know, it'd be your... ...whatever, day, daytime or whatever. Where do I need to go? I'm missing something. Something somewhere I'm missing. I'm fine playing catch up if I can hot join. Yeah, I mean, that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't see why not. I don't know why my camera's not turning. I don't... Am I dumb? I mean, I mean, yes, but... Or was the fuse in the room with that guy? I don't know. Because there's also this... This platform here looks like it goes up, right? But there's no control panel here for it to go up. And then that looks like you can almost get back there, but I can't. Missing this fuse. I leave up to Fufu then. Why is it up to me? Why am I the deciding vote in that? Also, yeah, I don't think... Man. Yeah, I don't see... Or unless the fuse is, like, on the wall in here. Oh, it's probably on the wall in here. Let's see. Lift lever. There's a red herb down there. There's a lift lever. Lift lever. Yeah, no, the fuse is over there. Yeah, I don't need to be in here. Oh! Wait. Is that where it is? Is it over on this platform? No, but there's ammo there. Alright. Let me pull this back up again. Actually, wait. Maybe it's that I... Oh, oh. Ah, oh, ah. Ah. I probably would have noticed this, <laughs> but the raids distracted me. <laughs> I was like, my brain becomes a liquid whenever people uh, are so nice. Because Garrett doesn't make decisions. Valid, valid, valid. Valid. Definitely does not. I need to pull this up from here. Okay. Why do men find it hard to make decisions, Foxy? I have no idea. Like, it doesn't affect me. I'm fine with starting with that whenever. I'd say start playing as soon as we feel like playing, but... You sound, like, a bit scared. Calm down and just focus. Oh, I'm not scared. This game isn't scary. I'm just always like... Try, I try to focus more on the people who end up raiding in than... Uh... Oh, that's a little bit problematic though. Can you open your mouth? Oh, I didn't block the dodge that in time. Oh no, that could... There we go. Woo! Alright, um... Hmm. This is, a uh, probably Matic, though. Yeah, no, I'm gonna die from that. That's okay, though. I forgot that happened. Uh, I ask once, and if I get an I don't know, I'll just pick and folks deal with it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fair. That's a fair way of handling that. I'm gonna squeeze past this guy here. Hi. Hi. Oh, wait. This isn't the right door. Ooh. Nice.
Alright. And then this is already up now, so easy peasy. I think I'm just gonna nade the uh the pack of zombies so that's easier to then deal with the um I actually don't know what the big chompy dude's called. I make him nervous. Raiders make me nervous, man. It's always so like fl uh, flattering and whatnot for people to end up like raiding in and being like sharing their community with me and whatnot. And it's just like, oh, hi. Even if I know them, even if there's somebody who comes in pretty, uh, pretty frequently, it's a nice thing. Let me add this to my quick slots here. All right. We'll deal with the group behind me before we deal with uh, Captain Icky over there. That. Okay. Come here. Say ah. Let me give you some dental work. And again. Come on. One more time. One more time, cutie. Thank you. You need food? Alright. Thank you for the lurk. You have a great uh, rest in your food. And then let me know what you what you had when you come back. Because I'm always curious what people decide to eat. That was kind of a... I don't know if that was a waste, but... I think that was handled okay. I think that was fine. Use is here. There's probably some, something in there I can grab as well. So I know it's a fish, but after watching Doom Patrol, it's just a giant butt. <laughs> then the giant butt of death. Uh, combine these. Oh, crap. Um, I want this high grade. I don't have space for it. Am I really going to come back for that? I don't know if I'm going to come back for that. Yeah, I can't really do anything about this. Uh... Wait, do I have no reserve shotgun ammo left? Oh, yeah, I don't. Uh, usually at this point is when I would throw a grenade or something. And waste a spawn. Going to make veggie cheesy pasta. That sounds awesome. That sounds really, really good. I had a... Uh, Lasagna for dinner today. Which has been a minute since I've had actually like a decent lasagna. Some nice mozzarella and ricotta cheese. Uh, I guess we'll go all the way around. Do I want to deal with the regenerator here again? Mm. It might be wise to... I don't remember if I'm going to have to come back through here. Eh, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. Let me try to squeeze past... Uh, all pale and handsome here. Excuse me. Alright. We'll put away one of these. Those will fill up slots. Empty slots, rather. And this is fine. Uh, grenade launcher. I do have reserve ammunition. But I'm going to refrain. Because the game tends to give me things. Whenever I need it anyways. Yeah, that sounds really good. Debating uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna make some like fried pork chops. I think I'm gonna make some like fried pork chops and. Uh... Oh, this is fun. I was trying to just run past them, but uh, guess that's not the best choice. Here, get away from me. Okay, slap these in real quick. Please go up. Thank you. Um. Bright pork chops and some uh, some rice with little sachichas in it. Oh wow, there's a thing right here already. This game literally gives you save points one second after another. Um, do I want to bother? I'm gonna bring this just in case I run into a green. I think that seems like a good idea. I guess we'll save again since this game's just like, hey, here I have a save station. I think this one's a very, like, out of all the remakes, I think this is the most approachable one to give somebody for um, a uh, introduction to Resident Evil. Because with this game, there's save stations everywhere. It kind of gives you all the ammo and things that you need for every single fight. And then on top of that, um, 
there's really not too many enemies and not too much diversity between the enemies. So I think this is a good one to be like, hey, if you're going to play one of the more recent Resident Evil games, this is, this is the one. Because I think 4 Remake would be a little bit harder for a new player. 1 might be confusing. 2, I think, is easy, but not as uh, straightforward as this one. And 7 and 8, as far as newer entries, they're just this way. not your traditional Resident Evil, so. Where they are good in their own right. Um... It wouldn't be a good introduction to the series as a whole, since most of the games play like this. All I think of with these uh, hallways, lasers. All I think of is uh, Mila Jovovic, or however you say her last name. Just flexing and flipping through uh, laser hallways. Or flipping and dodging uh, grids of lasers approaching her. Hurry up. Man, I literally got attacked by a giant nemesis creature. And you're the one that's banged up? Like, on multiple accounts. Literally, the game started with me being, like, thrown through walls. The fact that Jill's even, like, standing right now is a testament to the fact that she is, like, superhuman. <laughs> Like, the very first time Nemesis would have just, like, grabbed me, I would have been like, yep. GG. You know what? He died pretty fast. That's, that's more than I could say for half the people in this. Hey, Crystal, how you doing? <laughs> this is fine, yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah, is this the first stream that you guys get to use the new emotes for? I don't remember if I streamed... I didn't stream Wednesday, but I mean like... I don't remember if I got them on Tuesday or Wednesday or when I got them. It is? Okay, okay. Yeah, there should be one new freebie and then... Uh, five new sub emotes. And there will be seven more on the way as well that will fill up the rest of my tier ones, the tier two, the tier three, um, and then three, two, two of my bit rewards because I actually over, um, I over ordered. I was like, oh yeah, I have, I have like, I totally have 13 slots uh, of normal emotes. And then I was like, oh shit, now I have 11. And um, so then I ended up, uh, having to put them down there, but I think it's pretty good because we don't have any in there. We don't really have much incentives for people to give bits, so at least uh, people who are frequent with their bit giving and stuff like that can uh, um, have those emotes. You're alive, aren't you? Yeah. You thought I'd walk across you. That's funny. This is a waste of ammo, but I'm going to do that. Excuse me. Oh, there's two things here. Ah, lore. See, normally during a, a run of Resident Evil, I would read all those, but I've played Resident Evil way too much. And you basically get a majority of the lore from this game from playing the, the second one, which we've already done two full playthroughs of, so, you know. Oh, what was that? Antigen, antigen required, vaccine base. Ah, yes. One of the very few quote-unquote puzzles we have to do. You're alive, aren't you? Oh, you're not. My bullets went right through them. At least I got them back. Just woke up from a nap. I kind of did too, not gonna lie. I had I had las way too much lasagna, and then I just proceeded to... um. I proceeded to... <laughs> Just sleep. <laughs> it was one of those one of those meals where it was just so good and so hearty that I just I, I basically just like blacked out. I literally I literally like oh there's no more of this nice. 
I literally ate, got up, laid down on my couch, passed out for like 15 minutes, woke up and was like, oh shit, let's, I shouldn't sleep right now. You know what? Fuck it. And I went back to sleep. <laughs> okay, that's just lit up because of the va uh, vaccine thing. Alright, so now we're gonna go the other way. I'm probably gonna get attacked by a hunter here in a second. I only have two shotgun rounds for that. I am hurting a little bit in the, uh... The large ammo department. But that is also because I'm a dumbass. And I keep making, uh, small arm ammo. Rather than, uh... <laughs> rather than, uh... Any ammo for there, I always just combine the first two ammo I see when I really should be optimizing. The game gives you plenty of handgun ammo, so for the most part I should be just focusing on, um... On the, uh... Larger arms, the grenade launcher ammunition and the shotgun ammunition. There's a regenerator too. Oh, there's multiple? Oh, I meant to dodge that. That's the one thing I dislike so much about these boys, is that they are very quick to just suddenly attack you. What happens if I, like, just out of curiosity, what happens if I just... Are you gonna... You are gonna regenerate from literally, like, atoms. Okay. Alright, you are alive. You are more alive than anything in this building. I could tell. You can always tell, like, a bit. Like, if they just look like people like this, you know they're not gonna get up. Whenever they have, like, texture to their hair, it's just like, yeah, either they're gonna get up. They bother to actually texture their thing, their hair. Uh, granted them very high regrowth abilities are over pale heads. They have appeared with regularly, but they have a uh, wait. Sending to rain on the generate makes it difficult to deal with the wall with standard weaponry of any sort of them. For this, I would request that high powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in the process, blah 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 blah. Yeah, well, can you give me that uh thing? Because apparently a grenade launcher is not enough. Oh my god. What did you I forgot that they can come in here. Holy shit. Wait, you're not dead? That's offensive. That's actually offensive. And the other dude left, but um, is there anything in here? Not in this room. Just what's in here, but now I know he can come in here. And that's somewhat problematic. I, I, I keep forgetting that this isn't, like, really old <laughs> Resident Evil, where doors are like, ah, oh, yeah, they don't know how to work doors. You're perfectly safe. No, 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 no. This game, they, they will, they will, they will pull up on you. All right, come on, buddy. Hi, 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 hi. I, I could not do anything about that. I like how I said stream was still a long way from earlier and I still was late. You know what? You are correct. I didn't even make that observation. You were late. Even though you were the one that was the most excited. I am... Oh, offended. Ooh. Nope. I hate you so much. I... Is there something here? Am I risking my life for nothing? I am risking my life for literally nothing. How did you get up so quickly? Hate you. I need this. Okay. That's annoying. Uh, combine with this. Give me some shotgun rounds. You're not alive. Did they just come in? Nah. We good. We good. It's totally something down here, but. Oh, hi. Not gonna lie. Didn't notice you, buddy. Anyway. <clears throat> there we go. Throw them out. Was a day, and I was still dealing with an issue after hours. And I just knocked out. Nah, nah, you're fair. I'm just, I'm just... I'm just messing with you. 
Do not bite me right now. First aid spray. I'm going to waste that so fast. I'll tell you that right now, chat. That is going to get eaten in like two seconds. I'm going to literally look at this door and I'm going to use it. Uh, hunters and tyrants. We love that. We love to see it. Do I have ammo to combine this with? I do. I would, you know, I legit <laughs> would be sabotaging this. Every time I watch in a Resident Evil game, them just walk past containers of these things. And then when they come back through, they burst out and attack them. And they're just like, oh my god, Pikachu face? Like, wow, that's crazy. I'm like, man, how did you not... How did you not decide to just destroy those? I would have found whatever, like, flammable line I could do. I mean, yes, it's by, like, setting yourself up to be trapped in here with, um, with enemies. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um. This is somewhat awkward. What was the button to switch again? Here we go. Uh, I reload six rounds even though I only have three. Okay. Um, I don't know why you are still alive. Ow. You need to stop being that. And you, Mr. Regenerator, need to just lay down because I, I, I clearly can't do anything about you. Alright, um... Oh, shit. Just chilling on the floor. And the, the regenerator just walked in here. Oh, boy. I don't have the space for this. Let me eat an herb. You know, though, I will say this is one nice thing about these regenerators, is they just have, like, the attention span of a squirrel. Is this everything up here? No, it's not. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry. What am I missing here? Oh, there's some gunpowder. That's nice. That's, 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 that's great. Alright, there's still... Come here. Aha! Bye. Still have to run through that other group of them. And I'm almost certain that these guys down beneath here are going to... At least one of these hunters is going to come out. There's no way that they would show me these hunters and tyrants and be like, Nah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Case in point. Case and point. J Jill, aim, please. I'm in a corner? Damn, that one shot down. I knew that was going to happen. I did not know that I was going to get one shot. Is that... Wait, where did this put me? Right before I went up top. I didn't even... I forgot this game had quick saves. That makes this game even more generous, the fact that this game has quick saves. I didn't even know that. Holy shit. That's news to me, actually. I did not know that at all. You are impressive. You are breathtaking. Hi, right, buddy. Is this even efficient? I don't think this is efficient. I don't think that's efficient at all. He is right up my ass right now. I didn't do the time. Am I right? Please get in this room. Don't forget about her. Alright. Uh... 
please. Just drop for like two seconds, please. Um... What? Are you actually dead? No way. Absolutely no way. <laughs> Alright, I need to be ready for... These guys. I also don't have... I do have one medication, but... Search... Okay, this is... Let me examine this. Antigen. Antigen. Alright. So we, have, we have what we need. We need to go mix it. Now we need to get past these guys, and then we need to run past the room of the three or four regenerators. It's so evil that it closes you in here with them, though. That's the evil part. Oh, is the trigger here? Yep. Ooh. Please. Oh, buy him out of rounds. Hey, hey, hey. What? Excuse me? Uh, now, this is just kind of rude. I'm not going to lie. This is actually kind of rude. Oh, shit. Oh, that is, I think, the execution one. They're so fast! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Sheesh. No more, please. I don't have any more big ammo. Please. Let me out. Let me out! Am I in caution? I am in caution. I'm not going to use a first aid spray, though, to heal out of caution. There's also a chest right here. That was more anxiety-inducing than anything. I just knew that I would get sent back if I died. That's the scariest part of horror games, is losing progress. Horror games themselves? Not scary. Losing progress, though? Big shit. Oh, uh, that's, that's not even fair. I can't, like, dodge roll a second time like that fast enough, but they can immediately attack me like that. Which is really, really buns. Alright. We'll combine... Do I have... I don't. I'm gonna bring these. And... I guess I am running low on handgun ammo, so we'll do that. Even though I literally just said I shouldn't do that, but it's okay. Um, do I bring the Elhawk? I don't know how soon it is until I end up fighting the next big fight. Not scary to you, that is true. I don't even know why I became so acclimated to horror games. Like, I played a bunch of horror games growing up. Uh, but a majority of them did scare me. And then there was just a point where that part of my brain just turned off. There was just, at some point, my brain was just like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. It just really depends on the subject matter. Like, if it if it's like, uh... Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been really nice, chat. Um, if it's like home invasion stuff, or like something like that, someone stalking me, that kind of makes my skin crawl. Because I've had experience like that in real life, so that's something that's kind of like with stalkers, anyways. Um, so that's you know that unnerves me a bit. But uh, when it comes to anything fantastical, it doesn't bother me at all. The music in here is crazy. Yeah, as soon as you let me place them in the chamber. Oh, you want me to mix them together or something? 
uh, over here, I guess. No, wait, this just opened the thing, right? Wait. This is why you read things, chat. <laughs> yeah, okay. It wants me it wants me to, to, to combine them. Which I don't think I can just do that out of my pocket, right? Oh no, wait, I can't. Alright. I don't need any type of specialized device to merge these two chemicals. You're telling me I can just like sit there and crack open the lid of one and Mix it together. Not to mention that they were like full to the brim, so that means that I just kind of like poured out some onto the ground or something, and then mixed them together. That's crazy. Um, ah, yeah, it's one of these puzzles. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Do I want them to be high? Is that the thing, though, or do I want them to be in the green? Like, I assume I want them in the green. Also, some of my friends just keeps getting on and off Helldivers, and I'm just like, Helldivers sounds pretty cool right now. Um, yeah, it's definitely not that. See, that would be that would be 100%. So I want it in the green margin. I'm honestly, chat, I'm not even thinking right now. I'm just brute forcing it. We both we want them to there yeah <laughs> i don't need to think no thoughts yeah apparently that's uh too bad there we go how dare you say such profanity in my chat crystal how indecent don't you know this is a christian uh twitch stream Hmm. The amount of times she just gets like choked out in this game. Like, for Nemesis being created specifically to hunt down and kill these stars members, as well as like X and stuff like that, like these operatives of of that that are gonna contest Umbrella, for 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 them to be programmed to do this, they are incredibly gentle with their approaches like nemesis has grabbed me by the neck so many times but not snapped my neck or anything like that and then x and two he just kind of like punches you <laughs> like you would you would think that you know these these agent hunting monsters would just like kill you the exact second that they get their ha like hands on you like he has spines on this this tendril he has he could just turn it and like slit my throat or probably even just shift them so that they're on the side that's around my neck and just like Iron Maiden in my neck. But instead he's doing this. Oh, am I supposed to jam here? Ah, uh, this is so, this is so invigorating of content here. I love this so much. Also, I feel like this would be so futile. How How is me, little, little Twig Arm Jill, Gonna be contesting with this bio thing that can jump like to the top of clock towers. I like I, I that's the one thing I will always say about Resident Evil is there is such like did I lose? I lost. Was I not inputting right? Was it not just spamming it? No, I don't want to go to assisted difficulty. This is easy already. Besides not knowing what I was supposed to do there, I was spamming it. Or am I supposed to do it in sync with its pulses? Is that what is that what it is? Or am I holding it? I don't know. It's one of those. Um But yeah, Resident Evil is just like it's always it's always so impressive that these these monsters and things are so prepared and so ready to kill you, but these guys are just like, nah, but like I can do like a backflip, so like that means that I trump the fact that you are probably weighing like five tons. And, uh, have d displayed the ability to jump several, like, dozen, several hundred meters into the air. Ah, I was supposed to hold it. Ah. I thought it was tapping. See, it's more anxiety-inducing if you have to tap a button. 
just holding a QTE like that to, to go forward, I don't know, man. That seems like it might as well not be a QTE. That's something 5 does really well, is it has, like, QTEs that are very, like, tense, right? Like, you, if you don't hit this button, like, you're gonna die. Keep spamming the button, keep doing whatever, which I know some people don't really like those in modern games. Um, I don't know. I, I think there's something kind of charming about it. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of cool to me. I don't know. I think when you overuse QTEs, then that's annoying. Because there are times when games are like, let's just use a QTE for the sake of using a QTE. Um, and then at that point, it just ends up being tedious. Um, which is not enjoyable. How close am I to the last showdown with Nemesis? I think I'm there. Because I think it's this part, and then he becomes Giga Wall, and then we fight Giga Wall. Um, but I do not have the space for all of this ammo. And the fact that it gave me all of this ammo in this particular game means that it wants me to use all of this ammo. Um, I do not have shotgun rounds, so I will remove the shotgun, put that there. Uh, and then we'll lose stuff. I don't really use the knife either. Maybe I should just put away the knife. I don't really use the knife. I don't need the knife. Knife is gone. No, knife is dead to me. I really don't actually use it, so. I usually end up just shooting the, the containers, because on this difficulty it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll store that. Um, actually that makes more sense. Yeah, sure. And we'll do one more save here. We are close to the end here, and then we can we can get on to your Mahjong crystal. I was on a map. No, it's just potent solvents. Yep. Ah, yep. Okay. Yep. We're about to fight Nemi down there. And then there's one more fight with him. We fight him here, I believe. Nikolai comes and is like, ah ha ha ha, and then, um. We have one more showdown with Nemi with an epic, uh, an epic one-shot kill weapon. I believe, we, I believe we come in one shot with it. I think. I don't remember. It's been a while. Ow. The vaccine, no! He, he is such like a boring antagonist. He's just like, ah, oh, yeah, I just want money. Like, Wesker is so much better. Even, even like, also, was he, he wasn't even down here before. Um. Oh yeah, there's probably gonna be ammo here that I could have used for my um, shoddy, but it's okay. I'll probably die the first time anyways. So. Ooh. Um. I don't remember what you do with the silos. Please switch to your flame rounds real quick. I'd rather afflict him with a status effect and then... Ow. And handgun gun him a little bit. I don't remember if I'm really going to need ammo or not for the next fight with him. I think that's another thing that's kind of, you know what, that's actually a critique I have about RE3, is you really only fight, like, two two types of zombies, and, like, two mutations, and, like, Nemesis, like, 95 times. I guess you could say the same for, like, two? You really only have, like, X to fight? 
I guess. And it's not really like you fight anymore, just kind of... I am hitting space, by the way. Um, it's apparently too slow. Um, you really only have, like, X to fight? Compared to 1, where it had a lot of, like, little quirky boss fights. Because 1 had, um... You had, like, the giant spider. I think there was a snake. Um... Did that one have... Was that the one that had the sharks? Did one have the sharks? Or am I mixing that up with something else? I think there was sharks in, like, two games, though. Here we go again. Yeah, except that's kind of a problem. Regenerators are kind of a problem. It was weird. It kind of gave me the animation like, you successfully dodged that, but then I still got... I don't know if I actually got hit. I may not have gotten hit. I may have just been, uh... Shockwave. Wait, is that not a regenerator? I thought there was a regenerator. Oh, I, I need to deal with him. He's hiding behind tank three. Okay. Yeah. Almost. Ow? That was just evil. Resident evil. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna let him go behind something. Oh shit, another raid. Welcome in raiders, one sec, I'm fighting for my life. Welcome in kit. Hello, welcome in raiders. Hello, hello. How you doing, kid? Oh, I am fighting for my life right now. <laughs> Thank you. That actually is very fitting. I forgot my follow sound was Resident Evil related. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, as in you. Yeah, I, obviously he's there. There's also a zombie like right behind me. <laughs> thank you. Oliver, thank you for the follow. Mr. J, I believe that is. Thank you for the follow as well. I don't know why it didn't double up on the sound effects there. Hello, hello. I am <laughs> dealing you. with the giant... Oh, there is a double sound. I don't know. I just had a second. I still have the lightning hawk on me. I don't remember if I'm going to need it for railgun part. There is also ammo around the outskirts of the map. I also don't know why my camera is so zoomed in. I looked away, and now I died for it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm alive? Excuse me? I don't have meds though, so I am probably dead anyways. Unless one of these happens to be meds. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have my shotgun on me. Oh, okay. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, what kind of Resident Evil are you playing? This is the Resident Evil 3 remake. As I tense up there as I'm, I'm fighting this man. I don't even know how I am actually remotely alive right now. Ooh, yes, thank you for hitting those zombies. I love you so much, Nemi. I would kiss you right now if you weren't trying to beat my ass. That's a death, that's a death, yeah. I need to bring the shotgun. Do you know Jex? No, I don't believe so. I do not believe so. Uh, let me run back real quick and grab my, my shotgun. And let me also uh, get you a shout out kit. It has been a wild kit. And I'm glad to see you back to streaming. It was a good little, little break there. There we go. Okay, never mind. Uh, shotgun. And then... I think the slot opens up because he takes it. So I'll have the slot for later. I'm gonna just quickly save here so I don't have to come back into this room again to start this over. But I will probably die one more time. <laughs> no problem, no problem. 
You were just chatting? Were you just chatting the whole stream, or were you... What one in particular were you doing? Okay, I want that to shortcut there. There we go. This game's a lot shorter than I thought. I kind of felt bad the other day when I ended up uh, not feeling too well, and uh, ended the... Uh, um, ended the stream early, because I, I could have done this in one sitting, in one stream. And then we could just be having like a full Mahjong stream today, but... I was, uh, I was beyond tired. I could not compute any rational thought, and I was like, alright, I'm just gonna, like, die to these parts a lot with how I was. Uh, no, I played some game of Spy Party, and it was so fun. Your partner and Jax got super blasted and fell asleep. <laughs> That's awesome. That is super awesome. I don't actually think I know Spy Party. I don't, I don't think I actually know that one. It sounds like me though during the um, my uh, birthday stream. My birthday stream, I drank so much. Um, I didn't pass out on stream though, but I abruptly ended stream. I was like, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't do this chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like in call with like two other people. We were playing Hunt Showdown, and I was just like, I was just like, all right, I'm sorry. I can't goodbye. And I just like. Hit stop streaming, closed OBS, shut off my computer, and I just proceeded to like fall onto my bed and pass out. It was, it was something. <laughs> I hadn't gotten that drunk in a while, but it was like a, I don't know, it was like a eleven-hour stream, I think. Yeah, I'm dodging too frantically there. Hey, how you doing? Welcome in. Oh god. I'm dodging too early again. There we go. I don't know why in this game I'm like, I so frantically dodge things, but then I play a Souls game and I'm so calm and collected with like, my evasion. Such an interesting contrast between a game that actually requires you more to dodge. I don't know when the next occasion will be that I, um, have a drinking stream. Because I'm, I'm planning on streaming for, um, for 24 hours or so during my, um, well, we did more damage, I think, this time than we did last time. Um, I think I'm going to do a 24-hour stream for my debut. Um... But I, I, I don't think I, I don't think I want to drink when I'm planning a 24-hour stream. Um, but did I get shotgun ammo yet? No, I didn't. Um, I don't know. And maybe it'll just have to be like a birthday thing, even though that won't be till like the end of the year. As you say, I wish you helped me a bit more uh, than just uh, cheerleading. Carlos. What part are you at the end of the game? I am at the second to last boss fight. There is one more segment here with Nemi where he becomes a wall, I believe. I think it's only two. I think I think there's one one more uh one more fight. And then we'll be done. I thought I reloaded this. A zombie is like right to my left. Oh no, he's actually still far back. But yeah, we should be we should be done here hopefully within an hour if I don't as I was gonna say, if I don't die as I let let that happen, you know, but I'm gonna switch to the flame rounds. He is between behind eight. Oh, that's not the gun I wanna use. I just don't remember if... I know the last part of the fight with him, when he's wall mode, he, um... Please hit them. Thank you. He is, um... It's very scripted, but I don't know if I'm gonna need a lightning haul for it. Also, hi, Mushi. How you doing? Welcome in. Um... Should take his time to grab some of this ammo. Please grab it. The shotgun rounds, shotgun rounds, shotgun rounds. I'm 
not what you intended to hit. I mean, you know what? Fair enough, Carlos. You tried. I just had a milkshake. What kind of milkshake? Alright, alright. Get up, get up. I need to eat this. Hi, cutie. Hi. Hi. Vanilla? Simple and sweet. I don't like no. I like pickles. I I I definitely like pickles. All right, God, sir, please don't get that close to me. You were judging me on me being disgusted by uh cheese sauce or something in beverages which i assumed that it was like american cheese or something like that is what you were talking about kind of thing and not like an actual like cream cheese sauce which are very different things yeah cheese film that's 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 the word hit him please oh shit i didn't even notice her no, you're taking up so much time. Ugh. You're taking up way too much time. Was it mushrooms? I mean, I don't like mushrooms, but I'm not disgusted by them. So I'm not sure. Uh, what did you miss? Uh, we're talking about <laughs> food, food uh, things. I don't know. I don't know where Mushi's going with this. I remembered, I remember the pickle conversation, but I don't remember who disliked the pickles. I did say that there was something that, I think somebody said that they put that on there. How did he not survive that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of questions I have with um, Resident Evil. Like this, th these like mutants that come after us, I was saying earlier, like Mr. X and then also Nemesis here. They could just, they're, they're so strong that they, um, they, like, can jump and scale buildings with how strong, like, how strong their legs are. And they can, like, go through walls, but they can't just, like, grab us by the neck and snap our neck. Like, the amount of times that these enemies grab you by the neck and then they just kind of, like, drag you around or something. Or, like, just nicely hold you up and I'm just like, you're meant to kill me and you're a mindless, empathyless creature. Who's your favorite character in Resident Evil? Um, probably, it probably is Jill. Um, Jill or, um, mm, Jill or Claire, probably. Hey, Brenny, how you doing? I'm just trying to remember why I lost respect for you. I mean, if you have to think you're that hard, I guess you didn't, did you? <laughs> um... Let me reload the handgun, too. Did burn through a lot of stuff. Sorry I'm late. My notifications are, like, messed up for some reason. You're good. You are perfectly fine. I mean, oh, how could you? How how could you not be here for the stream? You are so obligated to be here as a mod. Oh, my God. What is wrong with you, Brittany? Um, Let's see. I do have high-grade gunpowder. Cool. cool, 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 cool. Very nice. And we'll go back up to the top. Who would win Mr. X versus Nemesis? Nemesis. Easily. Um, He is both just... He has more transformations and stuff like that, which is an indication of strength for one. But also lore-wise, he is meant to be stronger because uh, Mr. X is a prototype. He is a... Is it secondary or tertiary stage of the tyrants? But Nemesis is closer to being perfect. But not quite. He's still not perfect. He's just closer to a perfected design. Oh, it's so cute. Y'all are so cute. Hi, Nikolai. 
I still stand by why this is this is one of the like weaker of the remakes. I will say that it is still it is still I still stand by the fact that this is the most approachable for someone new to the Resident Evil franchise. Have you seen the animation of Re Resident Evil? I've seen all of them, but which one are you referring to? There's like four or five of them. Actually, there might be more than that. You have like the generation, you have the uh, animated series, you have like the movies, the Death Island movies, and all that kind of stuff. Um, the ones that came before those. I cannot think of the names off the top of my head. The Dead Island one? Yeah, that the uh, Death Island one or whatever, that the new one. Yeah, that was that one was a it was a movie. It was a, it was definitely a movie. Resident Evil always makes monsters bigger, but how? Yeah, there's there's always that conversation of like, how do they have enough biomass to actually become this big? Like, it'd be different if they collected mass and then became this big. But, um... Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme the railgun. And then, she's just holding this, like... So crazy. So crazy. There we go. The most power-hungry railgun on the planet. Also, they just happen to have just a railgun sitting in the middle of their lab. Like a stationary railgun, nonetheless. Yeah, they're always really small and then they get really big. I just always, I, I always just wonder how they have the biomass to do that. Like, I, it's, I mean, it's probably some bullshit of cellular, cellular replication and whatever mumbo jumbo, but. I don't think I actually even need, oh, I need to shoot his little cysts. I couldn't move there because of the roar, so that wasn't even fair. One more. Just like spitting at me. Uh, do I have the lightning hawk on me? I do. Are you shooting the head or something? Yeah, that's that's the head I'm looking at right now. Oh, 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 oh. Right. I have to go and push these back in. That's the whole point of me stunning him. I'm not supposed to unload into him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna have to knock him down again to safely do this. He hurts. He hurts a lot. Yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad I died there because I was fucking up too much anyways. Um, and it's not that hard to find the weak point of monsters because it's so obvious. Yeah, that's true. They're always like glowing things, but that's the point. It's supposed to be intuitive. You're supposed to be able to just look at it and be like, yep, that's how you defeat the boss. Um, it is designed that way. Yeah, every shot. Yeah, you have to keep charging the railgun. But I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, he has like, yeah, he has these giant pustules, I believe is a better term for it. Yeah, Resident Evil Village, yeah. Um, but Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil Village fundamentally play differently. They're not the traditional Resident Evil, so they don't need to... Okay, I can't skip this, thank you. Um, they don't need to have um, telegraphs because all you gotta do is, like, hit the boss or something, you know what I mean? There's not really a mechanics, so to say, I guess. It's just shoot the boss. Did the boss real good. 
it's more aligned with traditional third person. I mean, um, first person shooters than um, Resident Evil get title. Who was the hardest Resident Evil boss? Um, that's actually a good question. Um, I think ne Nemesis, but like in the original game. I think is a good example of a, a difficult boss. He's not that bad in this one, because this one they definitely tried to... He's going to swing at me. I did it too early. Um, because they definitely seem to have catered to a more cinematic experience with this one. Walker? Who's Walker? Do you mean Wesker? I think there's one on the other side. Um, yeah, there's one, but can I greed this? This might kill me, chat. He's gonna, he's gonna smack me real good in a second. Please. All right, all right, all right. Let me. I want to heal through this. I'm gonna keep pushing this. <laughs> he just literally punched me. Wesker? I think Wesker is more annoying than um, traditionally difficult. Man, this fight's just annoying as well, but yeah, Wesker, Wesker is more annoying than anything because he's mechanically pretty easy. I've seen and consumed everything Resident Evil, yes. The movies, the animations, I've played every game. Um, stick it in his mouth. Stick it in there. Here we go. Yeah, Jill. But again, are you referring to the animated movies? Or are you referring to the one with uh, Mila Jovovich? Or I don't know how you say her last name properly. Defeat stage three nemesis. That's great. I'm also dying horribly. There is a first aid spray back here. Also a lot of handgun ammo. How much do you think I'm going to be missing? That was like five separate ammo packages. Like how, how bad do you think my aim is at this point in the game? Like, you know what? Actually, I, I, I know people have bad aim. Not Mila Kunis, no. Mila Jovovich. She's, uh... Um... Oh, yeah, there's hand grenades over here? Oh, and even more first aid spray. Wow, you really thought I was going to have the worst time with this. Holy crap. Um... Can't fully combine those. I can combine that and then take the grenades. Um, uh, my favorite one with her... With Mila. No, you're good. I think the out of the the live action ones, I think the best one. I think was probably I think it was called Retribution, and that was the one where they first cameoed like uh, the other Resident Evil characters more thoroughly. Uh, I don't think it was the best plot wise, but I think the action was really solid. Her acting was solid. Um, and then, of course, it was one of the newer ones, so it looked prettier. It was a lot higher fidelity than the first, second one. It's the one that where they're in that simulation and whatnot, and she's in, like, a simulation of Japan and a simulation of somewhere else and stuff like that. I think there's two that are, like, simulations like that. But, yeah. I do wish that she still had more of her powers throughout it, because I thought that was a pretty interesting gimmick to have the fact that she's a bioweapon, but... Um, it was underused because of the fact that, you know, it's kind of busted <laughs> to have a telekinetic, uh, protagonist. I didn't like how they portrayed Wesker in the movie. Yeah, no, they didn't portray him well. That was really bad. That was really, really bad. Because Ada is in that one. Yeah, Retribution was, was amazing. And then the very last one, the, the, the final chapter, the final whatever, that one was so bad. <laughs> it was so, so bad.
Yeah. The eyes in this game look so nice. Get him, Carlos. Alright, you're not getting him, Carlos. Not the face, man. Not the face. Yeah, right, Carlos. How is he losing to him? I have no clue, man. I'm not actually... I'm fighting with the control of the game itself. There we go. Also, I shot him in the head, not the arm. I bet he would become a boss zombie. <laughs> they almost always do, right? They almost always uh, just pull out of their pocket, like whatever the current virus or parasite is in the game, and they're just like, ah ha ha, you thought you'd beat me, and then become a giant monster. I mean, even Wesker did it, and he was already a zombie thing. Superhuman mutant thing. Hell yeah, that's a good line. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the thing, though. They're not trying to hide it. Resident Evil's kind of that series where it's just meant to be kind of that goofy, kind of weird thing. It's kind of like, um... Like, you don't play a Metal Gear Solid game expecting a cohesive plot. <laughs> it's almost always going to be a, some crazy, zany, some dude's going to be spinning a revolver around for 25 minutes. Some woman's going to be naked, breathing through her skin. Yeah, that sounds about right. Resident Evil is always kind of like the same formula, but it's more so like what you enjoy it for is the gameplay. Goodbye, Raccoon City. You hope you made it in time? For if you're you made it in time for Resident Evil 3 gameplay, we just beat the game. If you're making it in time for Mahjong, it's about to start. <laughs> No more raccoons for anyone, yep. No more raccoon city, yep. To be honest, my favorite thing about Resident Evil 2 and 3 has always been that both take place at basically the same time, and it's genuinely just... Yeah, that is the coolest thing about all of the Resident Evil games, is that 2 and 3 literally happen simultaneously, which is really, really cool. They're just offset a little bit, because uh, 3 technically is a little bit ahead of it, at least for the first chunk of it, because when... Jill shows up at the police station. It is right when Marvin gets bit. Um, but Marvin's already injured when Leon or Claire arrive at the police station. So it's like a little bit ahead of time. Like Jill's like right ahead of them. Which also makes it a really interesting plot device. Because then you have this kind of like two-pronged assault, right? Because you have Jill doing her mission. And then you have uh, Leon and Claire doing their mission. Um, both to get answers and to thwart Umbrella and everything that's happening with it. And so there's multiple cogs in the city that's happening. And then once you play other games, you find that there's other factors like Umbrella teams and all that kind of stuff that are interacting in, in the city as well, which is really, really cool. What was the name Bigger Plot Twist? I'm not sure what you mean. Three happens first, quote unquote, and then when Jill gets infected, it's all of Leon and Claire. And then the last half is just leaving after Carlos, and it's like, how are, <laughs> were you this good at right? Yeah, it's really, really good. It's definitely, they did a really good job between these games. And you gotta remember that the originals also came out like machine gun quickly. Like, they came out really, really fast. Because they just used the same engine and all that kind of stuff. So, like, this is back in the era of games kind of coming out annually, compared to being three, four, five years in the oven. Can I tell you a funny story? Yeah, as long as it's, you know, Twitch appropriate. Yeah, go ahead. Man, that was Resident Evil uh, 3 right there. I saw a truck with an Umbrella logo and got scared and I don't know why. Oh, like someone had it Im imprinted on their on their personal vehicle. I've seen those before, too. I saw a car that had one on it and I also saw a uh, like a like a white van that had it. Um, 
Oh, and Operation Raccoon City, like, not canon, but also so cool. Um, I don't know, I don't really like uh, ORC too much. But there is there is a there is a five remake in the works. The shop has been unlocked. I didn't forgot this game even had a shop. Oh yeah, it's the alternate outfit stuff and all that, yeah. Wait, what is Oh you can just This is like such a cheese. You can just buy the, the boosts to start off. That's funny. And then Jill's classic outfit. Was Ooh, that the bite of eighty seven? It is the bite of eighty seven. I got to play it with a bunch of friends and it was genuinely a great time. Yeah, I mean, the game itself is really mid, but it's kind of one of those things, yeah, where like you, if you were playing it, um, you know, with friends, it might seem better. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, for instance, like a lot of my core memories with, um, with Resident Evil 5 is like, that's a really fun game, but it also wasn't really fun just because the game itself was actually fun. It was also just really fun because um you know you actually um got to play with friends like i i probably played thousands of hours of resident evil uh resident evil 5 and not because it's necessarily my favorite of the games but it gave me the ability to play with my friends because that was the first first real one that lets you do that i mean that's not true there was like two games before that that had like co-op i think but like no one played them, no one had them. Only people only really played like the original ones, unless you were like some Resident Evil nut. You didn't really play the other games too much. Um, I'm opening Mahjong Soul right now, but I know it's just gonna blast me with loud music. I'm like bracing myself. I don't think I have the audio set right now, so you guys hopefully won't get blasted by. I was not. It's so loud for me, but it's not showing up as loud in the. Uh... In the mixer. That's actually crazy. Uh, you're probably... Sure stream they get along with me. But Resident Evil, thank you. But no problem. I, I, I love Resident Evil. It's Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and Fatal Frame I could talk about for... So long. And, like, Resident Evil, out of all of them, has the most, like, intricate... Not intricate. That's not the word. It has... It has a lot of lore. And so there's a lot of things you can talk about. There's a lot of things you can speculate about. And there's a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, uh, things you could debate. Like, oh, if they ever consider this title canon, what would you, like, what would you say about that? And all kinds of stuff like that. So there is a really interesting franchise to talk about. What about Dead by Daylight? Yes. I, I mean, I don't really play it much anymore but i have pumped all oh, actually let me check how many hours do i have in dead by daylight uh 1342 hours i have played a lot a lot of that game way more than i probably should have uh how do i make this go is it there we go. I want to make this full screen. Let me guess you have a Nemesis skin. I have the Blighted one. Um, which, I mean, I think they gave that away for one of the Halloween events. So, it wasn't even really like I wanted it as much as I got it. I mean, I have Wesker's Blighted as well. Um, Alright, this game actually has its own music, so I'm going to... Let it play its music. And hope that it's not, for some reason, copywritten. Yeah, the blight, the blighted skins are really cool. They're a really cool thing. Uh, give me one sec. One thing I didn't do beforehand here is actually set up, um... <laughs> set up a, a capture for this. Why do I have two of the same capture on here? I have literally two of the same exact display captures on my computer right now. That is actually really weird. Um. Mm -mm, give me one sec, chat. You get to enjoy the Mahjong Soul music in the background, though, in the meantime. 
Yeah, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a blighted killer skin that looks bad. I will say some of the survivor ones are kind of eh. Like I don't like Claudette's. I think Claudette's looks pretty uh pretty mid. Um No, I don't want a display capture. I want a Where is it? Window capture. Okay. My buddy's inviting me to Helldivers. Not now. Later. I love me some Helldivers, but not now. Okay. I think we. I think we're good. I think I, I think I, I think I did the thing. Yeah, there we go. This is one. This is one. Of my, this is one of my baby accounts. So. Also, prepare to watch me be bad at this game. By the way, like, I haven't played Mahjong in so long. But it was redeemed, and so we are here playing it, basically raw dogging it because it's been a very long time. This is a this is a bronze account, so it shouldn't be the worst stomp ever, but it's it's probably it's probably gonna be pretty bad. Um, I'm looking. Uh, sound they didn't do it with Michael Myers. Yeah, the issue with DVD and its licensed skins. Why is the frame rate so ass? Does it just not like my full screen? No, it's still ass. Why is it? Why is it? Why is it so bad? Hello. I don't know why the frame rate's so bad. I don't know. I'll refresh it then after this match. The tiles. Oh yes, the tiles. I was like, "What do you mean about the tiles?" I'm like, "Did I do something wrong with the tiles?" <laughs> I have everyone's names hidden, by the way. I don't know if anyone in this game has some crazy, crazy-ass names. So we're just being careful with that. It might be that my computer is not liking capturing this game. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the 9. It would be cool, though, if they ever get the... Like, the go... Like, the go... The word. The, like, the go-ahead. Oh, yeah. For some more licensed, like, blighted skins, that'd be nice. Because, like, Resident Evil and Silent Hill, they clearly... They clearly are okay with being return customers, because we keep getting new Silent Hill skins, new Silent Hill characters, new Resident Evil characters, and, and whatnot. So they're, they're very closely, like, okay with it. But those two companies are very kind of okay with crossovers a lot. But when you have, like, these movies, like, with, um... With, like, Scream and, uh... Halloween and all that kind of stuff. It's very finicky. Uh, it's very finicky with um, what's allowed, I guess, with them, unfortunately. And like in the instance of like Scream, for instance, Scream, they technically didn't have. Um, mm, I shouldn't have done that. They, they technically didn't use any of the uh, movie screams. They, they basically, I think, if I remember the story correctly, they bought the licensing for the mask. And then they basically built their own lore and their own ghost face um, from the mask, essentially, is what they ended up doing. Because they didn't have the right to actually any of the particular actor. Uh ghost faces and so it's just like it's like a weird finicky pro like process and then it's the same thing with why like it's difficult for us to get our hands on um uh jason Voorhees because there is someone who owns the image of uh jason and then there's somebody who owns the like property of jason and so you have to go through two people who I don't think are on amicable terms, and so it just ends up being like weird. Uh, I kind of have seen that much. Yeah, Silent, Silent Hill is Silent Hill is great. Uh, wait, they. It, well, Ghostface is in in. Uh, are you talking about Ghostface or you're talking about Jason? Because Jason's not in Bonya. Dead by Daylight. People want him to be in Dead by Daylight, but he's not. Yeah, he's not he's not in the game because of the licensing issues. I mean, that's that's what killed um the uh Friday the 13th game as well was the fact that there was um just issues with the licensing. And so 
then they couldn't progress with making any more con uh, content for it, and then it just kind of stayed up. But it mostly survived from the um, from um, what's the word? It's just uh, from fan made servers, essentially, is how they survived. Oh, I don't know, man. And his buns. Um, can you tell the lore behind Silent Hill? Uh, it kind of varies uh, between the games, but if we're going off of like the general premise of Silent Hill, it is half mystical, half psychological. So there's like usually some kind of conduit that essentially curses a town or location or an individual, um, whether it be an angel or a demon or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it ends up manifesting as a personalized hell, essentially. Uh, which acts as a form of, I guess, penance for whatever the sins of that individual is. So in the case of one of the protagonists of Silent Hill, um, when they go to Silent Hill, it ends up uh, manifesting his um, his fears and his anger and all of that around the fact that his relationship kind of derailed. His wife got cancer, um, and she was, you know, withering away and dying, and he was very faithful to stay by her side for a while. But then he started giving into um, the desire to. I think I think he became an alcoholic. He also um, mm, he also um, was like thinking about cheating on her and all that kind of stuff. And like he started to actually wish that she would just die so that he can move on with his life um, and all that kind of stuff. And so when he had been a part of Silent Hill and stuff like that, a lot of the monsters and figures that existed in his personal hell ended up being representative of a lot of his, like, his mental state and all that stuff. So, like, for instance, um, the persistent enemy, the nemesis or the Mr. X of his game was essentially um, a manifestation of his anger and his sexual desire. And so, and there's a lot of like interesting interactions with that, but there's always like a kind of like grounded human portion behind the Silent Hill game. Um, and then there's like the supernatural portion, because at the same time while that's happening, there's all this like cult stuff going on in the background. And you have these people that are, um, I'm going to put this on auto now that I am in Ricci. Um, you, you basically just have like this cult in the background who's trying to resurrect their god and i just got nuked um and like so you have that plot line and whatnot and three focuses a lot more on that i got double nuked man i didn't even actually know that multiple people could call ron at the same time and that's offensive <laughs> i'm actively offended how dare they gang up on me like that I don't know why the, the frame rate for this is so, so like buns right now. The nurses of that game were very sexual in the fact that uh, in the fact that they moaned normally and especially when hit, and they were bodacious with booba window and pencil shorts. Yes, they were. <laughs> they were very, very sexual. Absolutely. Um Oh, I should have kept that one. I would have had a sequence, but it's okay. I should have got rid of the seven, gone for a five, five, eight, eight sequence, but whatever. Um, well, playing this game and talking is actually really hard. <laughs> um, yeah, they were very, they were very sexual, but they were also really, really cool. They were really, really cool. Uh, can you survive jigsaw games? Like jigsaw, like you want to play a game, like those things. Mahjong! Hey, Michi, 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 how you doing? Welcome in. Yeah, we're playing some Mahjong at Crystal's request. The movie? Um... No, probably not. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna be that person that's like, well, if I was in this movie, I would be able to do it. And it's like, I don't know. I can, I can kind of mitigate painful situations. I think I could do something crazy like sticking my damn arm into a thing of syringes. I probably could get away with that. But... I, I think I would just, as someone with anxiety, I think I would just panic too much and not end up doing anything productive. And I would just die in a jigsaw situation because of my anxiety. I think that's pretty much what it'll be. 
regardless if like morality or anything like that gets in the way of anything, I think my anxiety would be the biggest deterrent to me successfully completing a Jigsaw game. A lot of comments how they would survive Michael Myers of how slow he walks. Well, the thing about Michael Myers is, is he's inconsistent. I, I, I'm kind of like, I kind of half don't like Michael Myers in a way because he is, I don't like inconsistencies in horror things. Like Ghostface is like one of the best and not necessarily my favorite, but he's one of the best because it's, it's just a person. It's just some, it's just someone currently wearing the mask, killing people. But Myers is like, oh, he's not supernatural, but at the same time, he's the manifestation of evil. What? And then he's okay, but he's not. Okay, so he's just he's just some dude. Yeah, but he takes a shotgun and flies off a rooftop, and then it's just magically not there, and there's no blood anywhere. It's like, stop nuking me. Can you go for some? <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked. Um, you know, it's just like it's it's like that kind of thing. Like he he's he's very he's very superhuman when not being supernatural at all. At least like Jason Voorhees, who's essentially Michael Myers too, he actually is supernatural because he is a revenant. So like it actually makes sense with him. I don't find Scream scary. I don't find anything scary, but I still enjoy the movies. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I especially don't find movies scary. It's video games are more scary than movies, in my opinion, because you actually have to do the thing that, you know, is a bad idea. Watching someone go and be like, oh no, they're going to slowly open the door. It's like, you're a dumbass. I just sit there criticizing them the whole time. Like, you're a dumbass. Why would you do this? If I, if I woke up in the middle of the night in my two, you know, in a two story house, I don't currently live in a two story house, but if I woke up in a two story house and I heard like something downstairs, the last fucking thing I'm going to do is get a flashlight and go, hello, is somebody there? Hello. And like, and go down there and be like, I called the cops. You don't leave now, the cops are going to come for It's like, come on. And then they get stabbed and you're like, yeah, okay, well, you kind of asked for that. Uh, we'll do that. What did you think of the last two Scream movies? I think the, I don't remember the numbers. Uh, five? Five? I think uh, five and six, right? I think five was pretty mid, uh, but I enjoyed six. Uh, I think five was way too, uh, like, campy? Like they were trying way too hard with the cameos and being like, look, we have the original cast here. Ooh, look at me. Isn't that amazing? And then, yeah, this was this game was just me getting bullied the whole fucking time. Yeah, derank me, man. Get me, get me, get me out of here. Get me out. Um. But uh. Yeah, then they, then they just um. I think they kind of fixed it. They still had that campiness in the sequel to that, but it wasn't as overbearing. The dumbass move to say hello. Yeah, hello? Like you're letting the killer know where you are, yeah. Oh, I've never seen this character. That is actually an adorable character. I like her. I want her. But the gotcha in this game is absolute ass, and I'm not doing that. Well, okay, it's ass in one hand that it's it's very expensive to roll in this game. Like, and even just in the currency that you get, it's very expensive to roll. But then on top of that, it's like, no, I don't want a pawn. Um, it's, uh, it, it has like a generous system of like, if you don't get, every time you roll 10, I believe you get like a free credit, essentially, that then allows you to subsequently, um, guarantee it because like once you get like i think a hundred of that currency you can just outright purchase any character in the roster which is nice but yeah that's it's it's the rolling itself is pain have you seen the blacking it i don't think so the, the or even the blackening i think is what you might be referring to oh i didn't mean to put that i misclicked the lag got me there because I moved here and it still was here when I clicked down. I have not seen the blackening yet. I do want to watch it though. I still am confused and don't know how Sumajung. That sentence makes no sense. What sentence doesn't make sense? Sentence I said? Sentence that Jay said? Sentence 
What? 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 <laughs> yes, it's funny. Yeah, I want to watch it. I like uh, what the hell was the name of the movie? There was a there was a Paranormal Activity parody that was really good. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Oh, no, you said? Oh, okay. I could have, like, Mahjong lessons someday. We can all just sit in Discord and just, like, go into a custom lobby and I could teach you Mahjong. <laughs> uh, thank you for the nine months. No, he. How you doing, Anna? Well, I hope. Uh, we'll get rid of the nine. What would I do if I heard a noise downstairs? I would call the police and lock myself in my room. That would be very much what I would do. Even though I am martial arts trained, even though I have ways of protecting myself, I... It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Assuming I can't identify what that noise is. Like, if I hear a noise and I'm like, ah, oh, shit, my... Thing fell off the table. I remember that I placed it there kind of close to the edge. Then it's like, alright, obviously I'm gonna go check it out, but... Were you out your window? Because I always go out my window. I mean, that's fair too. For me, that wouldn't be wise. There's no type of ledge or anything to grab onto, and I'm like two stories up, so... Jeez. Yes, please and thank you. Yeah, I mean we can we can have a mahjong company mahjong night. We can have a day we can have a day where we all sit in the in the Discord Oh fuck. Where we all sit in the Discord server. And I could we can do a custom game. I don't know if I can make turns last infinitely though. Because it's really hard to explain Mahjong when you're also in like a time crunch and there is like a timer. Like every time it's my turn, you'll see a timer over here. Like you see that right there. And if I don't pick in those five seconds, then I have like a reserve of 20 seconds, and once I hit zero, it just like skips my turn. Like auto plays for me. I have a mini roof by my window. Oh, that's good then. I, I'm gonna be honest, I've been half paying attention to this game. Because it's very difficult. I'm finding it's very difficult to play this game and pay attention to all their tiles and all my tiles. When also talking. But it's okay. I need the practice both in just general as well as streaming it, because I would love to stream this game more. I am very concerned at why this frame rate is like absolute. Who ordered all this fucking frame. anime titties? Anime titties? I ordered all the anime titties. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't me this time. Hmm. I have found that my model doesn't do the whole like zooming out into oblivion when I drink. If my camera is placed a very specific way, like it seems to be when my camera is a little too high, then it just really does not know how to read my face. But right now it's actually like very properly angled at me. It's very good. Actually, I should have gotten rid of the south dial. That would have been a better, better thing to do. Yeah. Uh get rid of that, I guess. Huh? God, she's so cute. I like her. Can I see her emotes? Oh, I can't. Might also be because of stream room mode. Here's my emotes. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Every character has their own, like, emotes. So you can be very expressive with how badly you're getting your ass kicked. Oh, actually, I should have kept that double five duo because then it would have been more points. I didn't see this red five. That's that's actually kind of bonds, man. That's bonds. You know what? I'll chew that, sure. And then we'll get rid of the seven because it's kind of redundant. We have a double. I do need to get... Ugh, this is like a dead tile, because there's only like one more event. That's unfortunate, actually. Yeah, I think I'm screwed, but as long as I can avoid getting nuked, 
if I have at least one good round, I can kind of, you know, make a move. But that last game was pain. Everybody just kept ronning the fuck out of me. <laughs> Every two seconds, it was like, please, man, let me breathe. Let me, let me, let me just exist for like more than one second, please. It's actually always the scariest, too, because the people who are the best at this game are not the people who have, like, skids like us, like, who have characters. It's always the people who just play the default, like, character. Anyone who plays Ichihime is just, tends to be just goaded at this game because they're just like, I play Mahjong, I do not care about the stupid gacha in this game. All I care about is playing Mahjong. And so those people are the fucking scariest, man. <laughs> and they're almost always from like Japan or China too. They're just like, I am like a master and I'm sitting here like, hi, I'm a baby, a baby. I'm like, I like, I like looking pretty. I'm sorry, even though you're only seeing like my hand and like my emotes and my little icon here. But, um, <laughs> come on, my baby, please don't bully me. They're like here in bronze lobbies that I'm like, how, how good are the people in like the higher end lobbies? Like, are they just going to be like, do they have like the luck of the draw? Do they have like the Yu-Gi-Oh powers to just manipulate what card, like what tile comes out of the out of the stack? All right. Actually, am I fucked? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Didn't you have like? three of that character last time yes it was all and you know what happened i got nuked by all three of them <laughs> case in point <laughs> the game really said you're just gonna fight because she's the thing about uh ichihime is is that she is the default character she is who you get when you start out i think you also get miki i think too but it's all like you by default get ichihime right and so when people don't bother to gotcha a character in this game and they just stay as Ichihime, it just tells you that either one, they're brand new, or two, they literally only care about the tiles, like of, of actually winning and playing the game. And those people are crazy. They are insane. And I sit here and I'm like, but I, I like the gotcha. I play, I, I used to play Genshin. I play Star Rail. I'm gonna play ZZZ. I like, I like gotcha. It's just kind of, it's so painful to get the characters in this game. I've debated throwing money down on the gacha in this game, but it's... Yeah, I'm getting fucked. I'm getting fucked. I'm getting, that's gonna be a lot of points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm, I'm dead. I'm just dead. I'm gonna have a thousand points left. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had I had the win too. I had the win condition right there too. I was so ready. I was like, okay, all I need is all I need is this one tile, and then this person comes out here with a full on stack. And they've been on a losing streak too. They just had like a good they're an adept. What is this queuing, man? I'm a baby. I'm a novice on this account. I'm going to bed because I'm bored and tired. <laughs> See you next time. All right. So you have a good one. Yeah, this is a lot more cozy than uh, Resident Evil. You have a good rest. Uh, we'll get rid of the A tile. Yeah, it's a very big contrast to fighting giant monsters and swarms of zombies and all that stuff. But I've been putting off playing this. Uh, not putting it off, but I haven't gotten around to playing it. Uh, since it was redeemed since my anniversary, so I want to do it. I want to do this. Maybe we'll have like an actual like proper dedicated stream of it at some point, but that's just literally this so that the people that come in are expecting Mahjong and they're not like coming in and being like, ah, yes, Resident Evil action, zombies, crazy zany moments. And then they get me throwing tiles at a table. Only one more north tile. I need that north tile too. One of them needs to play it. They have no reason to hold on to it. This is action, Fufu. What do you mean? I mean, it's the action of me getting my ass kicked. Yeah. 
I'm the only one here that has both a character and a title set, and then I get all these no title default characters over here that are just fucking aiming their glocks at my head. Smash. 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 It is indeed Smash. Do you guys want to keep this nice, calm Mahjong music, or would you prefer me to put, like, some other music on? Like, I could still put some chill, like, lo-fi. I'm not gonna put, like, heavy metal on when we're playing fucking Mahjong, but... Um... I could put some other music, because this music is just gonna get repetitive, so I don't know if you guys care if the music's repetitive, or if you want me to put on some, uh... some other music. It might have been a good thing to do that, but I might change that socials command just to be my solo. I think I might do It's because I hate seeing that brick and then like depending on the sizing that somebody has of their client It's gonna change if that is crunched together or if that is nicely lined up as each individual line So I might actually make it um Am I gonna get nuked right now? Oh, surprisingly not um I might make it uh, just my solo link, and then people can click on there and go to whatever link they want. Might look cleaner. I don't know. I thought at first that it looked kind of okay, because yeah. it was just like, oh, okay, you can go. Why me? Why me? Every time. Leave me alone. I'm going negative now. What is up? Eight? Yeah. Fucking 8k. Holy shit. All right, well, I'm in the negative points now, Chad. You get to, this, is, this is the watch me get my ass kicked at Mahjong game. Holy shit. Yeah, she she took all of my points and basically secured that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just getting bullied. I go live and I'm getting bullied, right? Usually I'm like second or first in a lot of these games, but I go live and it's just like, mm-mm. You want to look remotely good at playing Mahjong? You're funny. You're real funny. You expect You're expecting way too much of me. You know, put on some, put on some nice lo-fi, and I'll kill the in-game music as soon as I have the opportunity to. No one's taking a second to connect. Oh no, it's three Ichihimes. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, Ayn is adorable, yeah. Oh my god. That's horrible, man. They were really thinking that. That's scary to me. Anytime someone's really thinking, I'm like really scared. I have all the names hidden too. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone on the spectrum, if you haven't followed already, consider dropping a follow. <laughs> please. Please. Uh, not not the follow part, but just the please, <laughs> the pit, the pity follows. <laughs> oh my god, the pain. It's unlikely that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to finish out the West tiles unless I. No, unless I draw into it. So I'm gonna get rid of the West tile. There is one North on the table. There is one White on the table too. Yeah, Ichime, Ichihime, one, two, and three, yeah. My god. Please. Please, don't bully me this game. No, don't do it. Every, every time it locks on me, I'm scared. Please, just... Okay, I'm fine with that. Holy shit. <laughs> it's the most horrifying thing to watch your your blinker stay on you, because it just means that somebody has action against you. Oh no. I'm so scared. Also my allergies are kicking into maximum overdrive. It's finally starting to like warm up here. I say finally as if it's been cold that long, but um starting to warm up here again and so now everything's like polony again and i'm like oh god and we've been keeping like the windows open <laughs> i'm in danger truly i am 
Um, we've been keeping. I ended up getting the the West Isle anyways. I could have been my pair. Um, but uh, yeah, we've been keeping the windows open, so there's lots of like pollen circulating all day, which is great. I like the fresh air, but also my allergies say fuck you. <laughs> My allergies are not happy with that. Don't nuke me, don't do it. Oh no. Oh? Okay, alright, I survived another turn, let's go. This west tile needs to go, I can't do anything with it. White tile, rather, not west tile. I hope everyone's nice and comfy for this nice, uh, Mahjong. I love how this game, right, has, like, the most abysmal, like, frame rate right now. Yet, you know, I can, I can sit here and I can play, like, Helldivers on stream and it's just like, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, we're all getting nuked. That's okay, as long as it's not just me. That's not many points either. Okay, that's fine. Seeing the little sheen on the tiles is nice. Yeah, it is very visually appealing. Aha! They got nuked harder than me. Hee hee hee. Uh get rid of the white tile. I got a one, two, three, five, five, eight, nine, three, five, seven. Uh get rid of the two that I have, maybe, depending on what I draw here. Ichihime three. What are you up to? I'll hang on... I'll get rid of the two. I'll hang on to the north for now. When I upload this VOD to, um, to YouTube, man, it's not going to have the Spotify music. So then they're just going to have, like, pure silence during this portion of the stream. <laughs> it's just going to be silence and the couple times I decide to talk. It's going to be really funny, actually. But not a lot of people watch like these older VODs and like these current VODs anyways. So it's like it's whatever. And if anything, people are watching my um my actual like edited Genius. recorded content. So, you know. It doesn't really matter to me that much right now. It'll matter more once uh once if and when uh those become more prominent. Like if people watch end up watching my VODs my uh, archived bonds then if they do then i'll be a little bit more um considerate to it and i might like do the whole copywritten music copyright free music thing but right now i'm just like i just want to jam to some good songs copyright or not uh yeah for real I literally had to complain about it. But the thing is, that most people in this game are, like, to be fair, most people in this game are Ichihime. And it's not just, like, that they only care about actually playing Mahjong and they want the gacha. It's just the gacha in this game is so painful. Because you need, like, I think it's, like, I think it's, like, 20 or $30 or something like that to do an actual 10 pool. And then, like... Combined with the characters, there's a chance that you get other cosmetics from the pools. So, like, you may not even get a character, because, like, you might get, like, a new tile appearance. You might get uh, a special effect when you use, you know, your finishers, you know, when you do Ron or Sumo. Um, you might get a... Uh, like, you can see my tiles have, like, little ghosty faces on the back of them. That's not default. Um, but, like, you know, they, they, you might get, like, different skins like that. You might get a new uh, playmat. You might get... Uh, other special effects, and then it just ends up, um, 
ends up bogging it down. And you just end up getting a lot of like fodder trash. So that's kind of like the downside of it to uh, the pooling in this. Granted, every time you pull 10, you do get one. I think you get one. I don't think it's more than one. But you get like one currency that then you can spend towards when you have 100 of that currency, you can go and per outright purchase any of the characters in the game. Because they're not really like, this game isn't like three star, four star, five stars. It's just kind of like the characters are just in general the same thing. And so when you get one of the characters that you want, I mean, you get enough of the tokens, you can just outright buy any character. And I think they're all the same cost. I think they're all the same exact amount of points. And I, I do know that, like, at my level as, like, a bronze room player who's in the novice ranking, I don't get any currency to spend on characters. So, like, anything I really have to do would either come out of pocket or, like, through events. But um, when you're in, like, higher tier brackets of the ranks... Then you do earn currency to do roles more commonly, and then it's a little bit more bearable. It's almost like the game is like trying to farm your playtime, right? Because if you're newer and struggling to get up in ranks, and you're going to keep playing the game, right? And you're not going to get really any rewards out of it. But then once you are like in a higher rank, it shows that you're persistent and you want to keep getting higher in the ranks. And at that point, it's like, okay, now we'll reward you with the ability to get these cosmetics so it seems like that's how it's kind of structured but for a free-to-play game that you can play in a web browser like this or you can play on a client i mean fair enough because it, it is a mobile game and so that's part of the reason why it also isn't like that optimized right now i thought maybe i was lagging but my connection here in the bottom says three bars so i think it's just um the frame rate's just buns right now but luckily there's not really any like real visuals to this game it's just hands putting down tiles so the fact that it looks like that doesn't really matter too much. I do hate that it has to say streamer mode in the top corner like this at the full the whole time. Wish that would go away. I think that's kind of buns. Uh yeah, I want to keep that sequence. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I recently got Turbo for um for Twitch and it is like the biggest blessing ever. No one wins this round. Actually, mm? no. No. Two of them at ten pi, so I lose points. That's unfortunate. Ten pi is basically when they are within the condition of winning, but they haven't declared a victory yet. And since in that, we, we, we ran out of the pool of tiles, and the two of them had winning conditions fulfilled. They just needed to actually finish their last tile or whatever. Um, it counted as like almost like a partial victory. And so then they ended up taking points from us, even though no one won. It's a fun mechanic, but fair enough. It makes sense. This is the only style of Mahjong that I even remotely know how to play. The, the Mahjong where people do like all kinds of other stuff, like they're building things and whatnot and doing other kinds of mechanics. I'm like, I, I, I could learn it. It's not that I couldn't, you know, I have, I have enough of the brain cell to, to learn things like that, but it's just, I don't know, man. I like my nice cozy, just build out your sequences and stuff like that. I don't, I don't want to, um, I don't want to have to actually do extra mechanics. Like, if you're really trying to play this game, too, you'd be trying to also optimize how many points you're getting. I just try to win a round is usually how I go about it. I'm usually just here trying to win a singular round. Um, but, like, certain tiles and sequences that you have in your hands can contribute to having more points. Um, and, like, so, like, you'll notice sometimes that when I draw tiles, um, they'll be, like completely red and that means that they have a certain point denotion and the tiles that are shining like this also have a certain point like this one's fully red right um so that, like that's an instance of that 
you know, it's, it's a green set of tiles, but it's red. And so they have like higher point values. So if you have sequences and pairs built out of those, sequ of those tiles, then you'll have higher grade points. Um, it's, it's something to think about. And sometimes I'm able to stack it and line it, line it up, but usually I'm just like fighting for my life. Um, cause one thing I will say is like, since the game is like still a very much like luck based, like you, you, you have the ability to manipulate the game, but for the most part, it still is kind of down to the luck of like what you draw and what ends up getting placed on the table by your, by your competition. Um, I will say that it's definitely like a lot harder of a game to play at lower brackets and stuff like that. Like it's definitely more like if you go and play Overwatch in a bronze elo, right? You know, and you're like a decent player at Overwatch, you are gonna shit on them, right? But in this game, it's like you can be pretty okay at Mahjong in theory, but you could be dealt a shit hand. So I have acquired a muffin. Well, how how what kind of muffin? What kind of muffin you got? If it's banana nut, it's mine. Just saying. That is the rules of this stream. If you're eating a banana nut muffin, it's mine. There's no, there's no working around that. If it's anything else, you can have it. Blueberry? I like blueberry, but that's fine. It's not banana nut, so that, that is your property. Thank you. All banana nut muffins are directly donated to me. There's no, there's no, um, there's no if, ands, or buts here, guys. Just, just so you know. I love them so much. <laughs> I love, I don't know. I like, I like muffins and stuff like that in general, but banana nut just hits different. Those all got eaten by the others here. All right, well, they're not in the stream, so that's okay. If they were in the stream and I found out that information, then, you know, we'd have a problem, you know. <laughs> then there would be a problem. So Ichi, uh, Ichihime here too. Just declared Richie here, which is means that they're in a win condition. They are one tile away from winning, and they have declared that possibility. Um, so at any point, one of us can play a tile, or she can draw into a tile that will result in our loss. So this person played a tile that she needed, and therefore they are about to get nuked for... 12? No, 18. Okay, yeah. 18,000, that's going to reduce their points, yeah, down really, really fucking low. So now it's going to be hard for them to come back. The thing that's kind of cool about it, though, is, like, even if you get knocked down really low, or you get knocked even into the negative, they disconnected. They rage quit. <laughs> no way. Rage quitting Mahjong? No way. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, I was going to say, even if you get knocked down that low, you can like redeem yourself because how that one person like nuked me for whatever it was it was like 2500 uh i mean twenty five thousand points or twenty seven thousand points that she nuked me for um you know sh you could in this game get all of your points back like let's just say ichihime won here nukes her for five thousand right and then the following game ichihime three here nukes her for twenty five thousand that would put her in the lead right and then, therefore, she would have recovered, come back, and been able to beat her. But this person literally just rage quit. Mahjong. <laughs> I just... <laughs> just imagine doing that in person, right? You just go, fuck this, and you just, like, throw the tiles down and leave. Mad funny. That is mad funny. Live on stream. I'm... <laughs> Ichihime 3 here. Bad sport. That's crazy. <laughs> that is insane, oh cat. Um, how do I want to go about this? Um. I want that answer that question really quickly here. All right, I'm gonna put this on auto now because I just need one tile and the game can do that for me. Um, now forever logged in the annuals of the interim. I mean, their name's hidden, so no one knows who this player is. Just that they have no custom character, 
no uh, title and that they uh, earn bronzy low. <laughs> That's so funny though. It's even funnier when you think about the fact that they are also. Can you easily leave the game? Can I? Can I just like leave the game? Okay, I can just log out. Because I, I imagine that somebody would have to like just close the app on their phone. I mean, either way, that's essentially what they did, right? Is just like close the app off their phone or close the internet browser. <laughs> but they know. Yeah, I don't know if this game does. This game track your dis. I'm, I'm assuming it does track your disconnect, and it would still count. Oh my god, they got nuked again. Good thing they're not here. <laughs> it's not many points, but oh my god, that's way too funny. This person is they they won, man. Like. Unless they get nuked for like 20 some thousand. I think the highest I've ever hit somebody for is like 37,000, I think, is the highest I've hit somebody for. And now we gotta wait a while to get into the game because we're waiting for them to time out. Like, oh my god. That is that is wild, man. It's something I, it wouldn't be the first time I've seen someone rage quit in this game, but it's been a very, very long time since I've seen it happen. Um, we'll get rid of this nine. Finish that Helldivers video and it's uploading now. Are you putting it on YouTube? Or are you putting it into a Discord? Yeah, it's gonna be on YouTube. Hell yeah. Make sure to like if you actually care about getting views, put it on Reddit. Put it on the Helldivers Reddit. Reddit is probably the strongest and most like, I don't want to say underused. It's underused, at least in the fact of like VTubers, I think, and stuff like that. People don't post things on Reddit. I mean, I, I'm one to talk. I haven't really done it either. But when I put the one video I ever posted, well, not it wasn't the only video I ever posted, but the, there was one particular video I posted on Reddit that ended up getting like 300,000 views. And all because of it being on Reddit. It would have never gotten to that point just naturally being on YouTube. It's like Reddit is so powerful because so many people traffic that. Like, yeah, like a lot of people traffic YouTube, but then they're muddied down by all the content. But you get very nice, like, consistent quantities of content on Reddit. Definitely. Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. It'll definitely get claimed, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, fair. Copyright and song and all that. Hopefully it doesn't get, like, blocked, though, because sometimes when things get copyright and claimed... Uh, they just get kind of like completely cucked completely. You love Reddit? I don't browse it as much as I used to. But it is an incredibly strong tool. So any of you in chat here who stream or make YouTube videos or um, even if you sell a product or service, artwork, um, in, you know, like handcrafted things, whatever, Genius. use Reddit. Definitely use it. Find a community that fits and try to organically... Um, utilize the platform don't don't just post on there don't just self-promote and not all just keep in mind too that not all reddits allow you to self-promote so make sure if you are going to self-promote that you find one that can and don't only populate your content in that community with that um because a big thing is is people do check profiles and they do care about the karma system that the platform has so by interacting and continuing to involve yourself with a community and the interests that are similar to yours, um, you will organically gain karma, and then that'll make you look more like reputable on it and stuff like that. Especially if you're going to put like post anything that you claim to specialize in, like if you claim that you are posting guides of a game, or if you're posting your awesome cool trick shots of some game or something like that, right? The more karma you have, the better it's going to look, and the more likely people are to look into the um <laughs> okay that was the most anime moment of i'm charging up my ultimate move and then someone else just fucking like nukes me that's depressing but um that was also really funny <laughs> but yeah make sure make sure to just build and interact in the communities on reddit if you're going to use the content for promotion but it is incredibly incredibly powerful to use reddit for that because it is incredibly curated for the viewer you have to choose to join a community you have to choose to consume that content to perceive it um yes stuff gets pushed out to the general timeline but for the most part 
the people that are going to appreciate your content are going to be the people in that community, which means that you have your little niche and you have your little pocket there to try to push content out to them, right? Compared to Twitter or YouTube or Twitch, where you are going to be screaming to the void most of the time and no one's going to hear you. You know, there's a chance that somebody does. There's a chance that the algorithm kicks, you know, carries you away. But it's all a bunch of ifs, ands, or buts. But Reddit is curated and directed. Yes, it still has factor of RNG, but you can kind of get yourself more stable on there. And the more reputable you make yourself on it, the more likely people will be inclined to check you out. And then if you put your stuff like your socials and stuff like that on your Reddit profile, then it'll do better for you. Voila, there's your, there's your uh, social media brand manager, VTuber tip of the day. <laughs> Time to have a YouTube series of uh, me just talking about brand stuff. Which is funny because I don't use any of these applications for myself. I could tell anyone how to fucking successfully run their freaking brand. Yeah. I just don't care. I, I think, honestly, for me, at the very least, I just kind of like, I still perceive this as a hobby. I would love for this to become a career someday. Um, but it's just, um, you know, I've already done my test to see like where things can go with it and stuff like that. But I just, I don't know, I'm just trying to have fun with it. I stress out too much. Anytime I have too many viewers or anything like that in in my stream i panic anyways so i'm just like ah <laughs> i'm like i'm just trying to organically go get used to it, get used to the flow and the anxiety and stuff like that but if anyone wants any tips some actual like you know tips outside of this you know from an actual professional standpoint feel free to dm me you know i'll, I'll talk i'll talk to you about it. i can talk to you about the logistics i can talk about you how uh the algorithms and analytics and stuff like that work on the different social media platforms um things like that. I can do some research for you if you want some micro research into trends and things like that that can help push your content. If you exist within some kind of a niche, um, I can try to help you out with that. Um, of course, if we start going too in depth, I might be like, hey, how about like a consultation fee here? Like, hey, hey, how you doing? You know, but um, yeah, I, I don't mind helping people out. Social media is a, is a bitch. <laughs> Social media, brand recognition, all that's a bitch. It's a lot. And being consistent with it is another big thing. But yeah, that's another, that's a whole other thing. I can go on a whole ramble about brand management. I kind of want to just leave it up to YouTube and the, and the odds. YouTube gods, yeah, the YouTube gods are crazy. Sheesh. Man, this stream is really just watch me get my ass kicked. Like, that wasn't me that got hit, but like... Like, you know what? At least I'm not ending in last place. You know what? This time, we're not last. I'm still losing MMR, but that's okay. Because I deserve it. Do you not get demoted in this game? Do you just, like, not get promoted? Is that how this works? Like, you can be reduced to zero points, but you can't be, like, reduced to the lower rank? Or is it that I'm a novice and therefore it's not going to do it to me now? Let's change my character real quick. My only uh, Reddit legacy is me live reacting to The Bachelor. <laughs> oh my god. Who do, who do I play as, chat? These are the characters I have. I got, I got Natsuki Shinomiya here. Aruna Igarashi. I got Joseph. Um, I got the default Ichihime and Miki. I got Natsuhiku here. Wanjiro. Uh, Chishi. Ain. And Anju. I made like one post on the For Honor meme Reddit and then never interacted with it again. Yeah, I have only ever really used Reddit for testing. Uh, test uh, only like testing my knowledge of the platform and like you know, and like things like that. Most of my most of my professional knowledge that I've applied to myself is me just being like, "Does this work? Can I test this? What happens if I do this?" And then it works or it doesn't work, and I'm like, "All right, taking notes." Because the thing about, like, even though I have, like, a degree in it, social media and shit's always changing. These, de you know, these developers and stuff are changing all their algorithms. People's behaviors are changing constantly. Um, and so, like, you know, between the consumer psychology aspect and the actual technical side of things, everything's always changing. So I, I very often use, like, other accounts and stuff to just kind of probe and, and see what happens and understand it. Um, and then if I feel like I want to apply it to myself, I might. And if I don't, then I'm just like, cool, I just know it. Right? I know, I know that, that niche aspect. You know, so it's kind of a it's kind of a nice thing. Why did my model not come back? Hello. 
What character do you want, chat? Apparently I have good relationships with these characters? Is that what this is? No. I don't have any with her. Why do they have stars next to them? Hmm. Joseph, you want daddy? You want daddy, chat? Look at his... Can I look at his alternate outfits? I can't. His Bond one is really nice. Oh, I'm actually, like, really far along with him. Can I... I don't have any gifts for him. Man. Oh, this is what it sounds like. Reach! Double reach! Chi! Huh! Hi, friend! Orewa Joseph! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why was he like? What? <laughs> Why did my guy just literally, in the most energetic voice, in a voice that's different than his own, go, Hi, friend! What the Hi. fuck was that? That's crazy. Hello, Xander. Welcome in, Raiders. How you doing? We're playing some nice, cozy Mahjong, so I hope you like the chill vibes. Because it's it's a bit different than normal. We're usually playing something anxiety-inducing, but today it's a nice Mahjong. But we'll, we'll, play, we'll play some Joseph. We'll play some Joseph. I didn't switch to Joseph. There we go. There we go. There he is. We get some nice daddy kind of himbo energy. How you doing, Raiders and Xander? Also, anybody who's here from the other raids as well, thank you for chilling this long on some Mahjong. I understand you guys came in with Resident Evil, and that was a little bit more higher octane, but I was literally at the last, like... <laughs> I was at the last, like, 20 minutes of that game when you guys came in, so... Now we're in uh, the chill hour. So we got Lo-Fi and Mahjong. Playing some Minecraft. Uh I'll get rid of my red dragon tile. Fuck it. This playlist is nice. I dig it. Better than this this song on loop that's in the game. My eyes have been so unbelievably dry ever since my allergies have started kicking in again. Like I think I need to start get using eye drops again. Or taking like uh what's it called? Like allergy medication. I couldn't think of the brand names. Claritin, I guess. Uh five six seven five six nine one one seven eight eight. What this is a bad hand, man. Speaking of anxiety inducing, I spent half of the stream building a machine only to realize I needed three times the power to even run it. So I just ended stream since I'm super EP. Yeah, that is uh yeah, that is uh annoying. <laughs> I definitely have been in that situation where I get hyper fixated at completing something, but then I don't have the preliminary steps to actually make it functional. Like I like like building something and being like, oh, but you need this resource to like fuel it, and it's just like, god damn it. <laughs> you need this specific type of uh gemstone or something like that to run it, and it's just like, oh, okay. Well, I assume you're going to bed then soon, Xander. I thank you for the raid. I hope you rest well after your stream, and I appreciate you sharing your community with me. And the nice, chill, lo-fi Mahjong vibes of me getting my ass kicked. Just absolutely decimated. It's okay. I don't have my soundboard on. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to read all that. I was like, it comes up red because you mentioned me. So I was like, what is happening? Am I dying? If anybody's interested in joining, joining anything, there's the socials. Um, I mostly... Uh, let's get rid of the West style. I mostly want to try to push my Discord. Because um, I just want I just want to build a community. I want you guys to interact more with each other. If, you, if you're, in, of course, interested in that. I'm not going to hold you at gunpoint. But, um... You know, that's one thing. That's one thing I always really wanted was to have like a, like a self-sustaining community. You know, that doesn't need my interaction to, uh, to do stuff and could be supportive and uh, kind to each other. Because the internet is crazy and a lot of crazy stuff is always happening. And there's a lot of negativity out there, and I'm just like tired of seeing it all the time. So, 
for those of you who are social bugs or or trying to find any like-minded people and stuff like that i hope you'll consider joining the community and hanging out with us um i am going to try to get back into having more nights again where we just hang out in discord um i did that a lot when i first started streaming and i kind of fell off of it um as i started getting more into streaming and i kind of burning my my social battery out between that and hanging with my friends and it just kind of made it so that i didn't really feel like hanging out in the chat as much anymore and most of the time it was just kind of like one or two people that came and so i kind of just started hanging out with them privately um but i do want to try to push for more events uh, maybe like a weekly movie night um and then and then things like this maybe i can teach you guys how to play mahjong um maybe i can um i look at them emoting i like you you have personality um you know maybe we can do another uh duck duck goose or goose goose duck of oh, this person dc Nothing bad happened to them, so I'm wondering if they just DC'd, right? Most people are on their mobile internet. Maybe their phone died. I don't know. Uh, that other person, though, rage quit. That was definitely a rage quit on that other person's part. Um, give me one sec. Brain working. Um, yeah, and then doing stuff like, you know, Goose Goose Duck and you know, or Among Us, whatever. Um, people want to play Dead by Daylight. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back into Dead by Daylight, so, so those of you who do like Dead by Daylight and wouldn't mind just carrying around my rusty ass for a bit, um, I wouldn't mind playing that here and there with you guys as well. Let me just hang out on Discord. You don't even have to chat. I'll ramble like I am right now. And we can just play. It'd be nice. Also, one of those things that, like, if for ever any reason that this does really pop off and I get to a point where there's a lot of people, a lot of talking, a lot of things going on, I won't have as much time or energy to spend hanging out with you guys. So I definitely want... You know, both for my, like, you know, both from where I stand now and both, you know, preventatively for the future to have that time to actually bond with the guys and hang out and whatnot. Rusty says, yet when we played as a group, he survived a fair amount. But I was, uh, it's not, I'm not wrong. I was incredibly rusty. <laughs> I still uh, apparently retained a lot of my looping, like, muscle memory, like, the killers kept leaving me, but I am definitely not where I used to be. So, in my eyes, that's still rust. Like, I don't think I'll ever be rusty to the point that I'm dead weight, because I have put, like, 1400 hours into the game. But, um... I am definitely not hard carry anymore. Granted, I don't think I actually play like I used to either. Because when I used to play, I used to always bring like... Well, not always. That's not true. I either brought stuff to bully, <laughs> like to fuck around with the killer, like to get chased and like flashbang them and shit. Um, Because that's fun, you know? Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but just like, you know... You want to chase me? I'll blind you. <laughs> Um, or, um, I, uh, or I would bring stuff to actually be very efficient, but I also used to play with a Swift pretty frequently, um, and now those friends do not play Dead by Daylight anymore, so getting back into it is a, is a little bit daunting, because of course if I do get that itch again to actually play, a lot of my playtime will be by myself. Which, I mean, I was a killer main. So, like, I mean, that's, that is by yourself anyways. But there was something there's something really nice and chill about actually playing with, like, a pre-made group. Even when I played with my friends who were not as good. Because I had a group of friends that was, like, really solid. We won most of our matches. You know, we had two dedicated, like, loopers. You know, we had, like, a gen jockey. And then we had kind of, like, a filler who kind of did whatever was needed. Um, and that was a pretty solid group, and then we had a group of friends and stuff like that who people joined in who weren't as strong. But it was always fun, because we would find ways to make the round fun. Whether that's all bringing some kind of, like, weird goofy build, or, like, hard rooting into, like, some kind of, like, shtick, right? Like, um, I don't know. Someone just brings all aura reading perks, right? And you're, you're, by, you're by no means being efficient. But you are able to always see the killer. You're always able to see gens, and you're relaying that information. You got a dude who's got like hard chase perks, and you know stuff like that, like that kind of fun stuff. 
And I have a lot of memories of just like standing around like fires, looking up at the sky, and then the killers come and they hang out and they they stand there and they look up at the sky with us or something like cute stuff like that. Before the game got unbelievably sweaty. Now the game is like people thinking that they're so good at the game, and then they just as a killer they just tunnel and camp you and slap you on hook, and then as a survivor they just teabag you on other sides of pallets just to be annoying. Um, not even to get your attention into a chase, just to be toxic. So you message me and Crystal for Survivor, and we'll join you even though we get killer aggro, like, in the first one second. Hey, I had I had a lot of times that the killers came after me. They just learned very quickly not to do that. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, there was one dude I remember. I was chasing him around Shaq. Chasing, I mean, was I chasing him? He was chasing me around Shaq for, like, a good, like, two or three minutes. And then for some reason, Bam was just healing, like, in a corner. Like, he was healing at the window. And I was like, what the fuck? And I went to go, like, run around the corner, and I'm looking back at the killer, and I just hit something, and I'm like, what's happening? And I turn, and it's Vam there. And then I get a Chucky knife to the back of my head. I was like, Vam! I wanted to, like, scream. I was like, my god, <laughs> why were you even here? <laughs> I'm like, you're wounded, healing here. Why are you where the killer is? I was like, you're lucky I'm not in voice comms with you, Vam. I can't quickly type enough to be like, Vam? Like, he should have been far away from the killer. Like, he wasn't even in that corner when I was looping Chucky. Like, that's the thing. He wasn't there. He came there and started healing there. I was like, why are you here? <laughs> it sounds like Vam, all right? I was like, what the fuck? Why are you here, man? There should have been no one in that corner, because then it's other people that are just going to get hit anyways, you know? I was like, so, I was so astonished. I was like, jump scared, like the... I'm telling you, the scariest part of Dead by Daylight isn't the killers, it's the other survivors. <laughs> when they just pop out of nowhere. I think I've been jump scared more in Dead by Daylight by... Oh, that person came back. Um, I've been jump scared more... Uh, in Dead by Daylight, playing killer, um, and getting jump scared by survivors just being places. Because there's a lot of times where you're just like standing somewhere and you're just like, excuse me? Like, are you, are you trying to like assert dominance over me? And then I smack them and then they just like stare at me and I'm like, okay, you're, you're horrifying. <laughs> you're emitting alpha energy and I hate this. Uh, trust when me and Brittany yell at Vam in voice chat, even if he's not there. I mean, fair. Like, that, that that instance, I was like, what the fuck? Because it's like it's one thing to be of varying skill levels. I'll never get mad at somebody for being bad at a game or being really good at a game. That's just how it is, right? People, Some people are really good, some people are really bad. Some people play for 10,000 hours, some people play for 100, right? Um, that's, never, that's never a problem, right? Um, it might be frustrating here and there and be like, damn, if only, right? If only they were better, then they, you know we might have been in a better situation with this. Um, but for the most part... My issue is usually just when it's just like, why? Why why are you doing this? Like that that instance was like, well, I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Cause I'm just like, you don't you shouldn't be here and I'm actively looping and you're blocking me. And I was like, my God. <laughs> it's that kind of stuff. Or like when you're playing like um uh I don't know, hell divers, right? That's a new thing, right? And people do something with their stratagems, and it keeps killing teammates. And then their thought is, I'm going to keep doing the same thing that's killing my teammates, rather than either finding a new way to do it, or not doing it at all, right? It's like the whole, like, people not learning thing. That also bothers me when it's just like, you just, like, dead, people do that in Dead by Daylight too, Where they'll, like, even, let's just pretend they've never gone up against a Chucky before, so they have no idea how he works, right? They do something, they fuck around, they find out. Then they do the same thing again, it doesn't work again, and they go down. And then the third time they do it again, and then they die, and they get, and then they get like, down again, and they just DC. And you're like, you did the same stupid thing multiple times now, and you didn't learn the first 27 times? I'm like, come on, man. And then you look at their profile, and they have like 6,000 hours in the game, and you're like, I don't even know what to say to you at this point. Um, Vam, you turn around, you're running to the killer. Vam, stay on the gen. Three different people are running to the person on hook. Please get back on the gen. 
Oh my god. That's funny. I don't think anyone in my Swift was ever like that. Um, we did have like one person that wasn't good at chasing. But she was like all right at being like a gen jockey and stuff like that. Um, so when she'd get into chases, sometimes some dumb shit would happen. Um, but we never had like an issue of being like, what the fuck are you doing? Like there was never a point like that. It was never like that. It was just kind of like, oh, they're in chase. They're going to go down. Like it's kind of was like an expectation. But it was never a point where it was like. Um, I don't know, like you couldn't understand what was happening. Like it was just like, yeah, OK, fair enough. Um, oh, I don't want to stop. Stop it. Um, yeah, I've never run into that issue as far as people I actually play with. I tend to accidentally run into the killers. Like. Stealth killers or just like, yes. Good morning, mate. How's it going? It's going all right. My eyes are, are hella dry right now, but otherwise I'm okay. How about yourself? Yeah. Both? Oh, God. I only ever do that if, like, I'm streaming and I'm not, like, uh, paying attention. If I'm not paying enough attention, right? And I'm looking over at chat, and I'm like running because I hear the terror radius, and then I look over and I like run right into the, right into it. Oh, Vamathy gossip! Oh God, the Vam gang's like, oh, let's let's slander this man's name. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to play more DVD with you guys. That was really fun the other night. That was really really fun. It was nice first off to play DVD again, but then also to actually have like a full crew to play that with. I am annoyed with the fact that like. Half the games we played were Chucky. Like they weren't that bad. All the Chucky's were really bad. But like it wasn't like like a like a skill thing or anything like that. But it was just like holy shit. Back in my day, there was a lot more killer diversity. There was a lot a lot of times that I'd go into a match and not see the same killer for a bit. And then and then Trickster came out. A lot of people played Trickster. Then he got a bunch of nerfs and changes, and then people stopped doing that. And then. I remember Wesker. Wesker was another big one. Wesker was like everybody. Wesker was just like every match was just Wesker. 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 Nemi. 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 And I'm like, please stop. For the love of God. And then for a bit there, it was like, bubba, 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 because people just were like, chainsaw basement camp. And I was like, please. Which I haven't run into a bubba yet. So that's kind of nice to see that people have gotten over the uh, chainsaw thing. Which, I mean, I guess it's harder now because of... um the camp the camping unhook system now but you could still easily camp with bubba you could sit there and stare directly into their eyes and still do that because you could just chainsaw hit them and whatnot but yeah um one sec okay um not so much gossip but us over here things that happen in david ah uh, i'm good thanks just woke up uh 10 minutes ago well good morning i woke up a little bit before stream so about three and a half hours ago i took a nap after eating a lot of lasagna <laughs> thank you for the head pats um get rid of this too we have a pair here we have a sequence there we have a sequence here i can get rid of the seven if need be it's two north tiles. It's unlikely that I'll be the one to draw the other north. This eight, I could use more than the north, so we're going to get rid of the north. Are you at DBD? What do you mean? Or are you good at DBD? Um, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm all right. It's a it's a little, bit, a little bit of a learning experience coming back into the game and kind of being used to changes that have been made to the killer after, you know, two years of not really playing. So it is interesting to be like, oh, OK, so that's how that character works now. It is a little bit of like a almost like a culture shock, I guess, but um, I'm OK. Certain killers, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> 
Like, I, to this day, I have never lost a match as the hag. Fun fact. And I've played over 100 matches. Too bad I never streamed or recorded that, because that would be cool, because people apparently seem to like win streaks with characters. And apparently I'm good at the hag, which uh, to my, I always thought she was good, right? I always thought the hag was good. And other people are like, ah, oh, she's such a shit killer. She's the one of the worst killers. She needs a whole rework. And I'm like, does she? Or do you just not know how to play the game? Oh my god, I don't know, man. Just kind of sicko mode. And then I love playing the plague. I love playing uh, Huntress. I love playing... Um, I like memeing on Ghostface. I don't know if I would say that he's like really fun, but he's just kind of fun to fuck around with. Um, I think I would like the new killer, but I don't obviously I haven't played any of them. I haven't played on the um, on the PTB, but it looks really fun. Never play as killer with me, please. Why? I forgave all the Weskers when he came out because he's sexy. I mean, yeah, he can slam me against the wall all he wants, man, you know. Even if he only has seven minutes to play with me, you know. Seven minutes. I only have seven minutes to play with you. <laughs> Complete and total global saturation. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Saturation of what? Seven minutes is enough time? I mean, if that man's got the arm strength to with one hand slam you against a wall, I mean... I mean, you know, just... Is that, do I need to say anything on that topic? <laughs> Damn. I do want to play killer against you guys, though. And I'll play as something fun, like the pig. I can do one of my evil builds. Actually, they're changing the pig, so I don't know if my evil build will work, actually. Because I used to use a build that was basically... um. I would go into usually live matches and um, I would use a build that was just like basically guaranteed kill with the bear trap. And so like as long as I didn't get absolutely juiced in the beginning and just like couldn't get the traps on anybody, whoever got a trap died. Because I would actually like, I had like all slowdown on removing the trap and then I would patrol and make sure that people weren't like taking off the trap. And then once they added, um, fuck what is the name of the perk? Uh, the perk that if you, um, are out, I think outside of my terror radius, you scream, I think is what it does. From, like, from the shadows or some shit like that, I don't know. That one made my build go sicko mode, because that interrupts you taking off your headpiece. And since the pig can go stealth, that means that I can always make you out of my freaking thing. Hex face the darkness, thank you. That one, crazy, man, for that build. Because you just have the trap on your head. You go to do your box. I'm crouched or um, stealth from Trail of Torment or something like that. No and then I didn't have 10 by. I thought I did. I think I was two tiles off. Um, and uh, no, they kicked me down to third. Wow. Um, and so you would be like mid doing it and it would take you like an hour and a half to take the trap off in the first place. And then by the time you're about to like, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm about halfway done. You just scream. <laughs> and it resets it. It's so, so evil. I love that build so much. It's still probably viable, but now with them nerfing the bear traps, I don't know, it might be hard. Because they added, I think, like a whole 30 seconds to it or something. And that's a big deal. It's different if they change, like, the percentages, like, by, like, you know, like, much smaller increments. But a whole ass, like, 30 seconds, man? That's crazy. That's, like, a whole half a gen, man. So, I don't know. It's it, it might be dead in the water for that meme build, but it was a good time. At least I had fun with it. You can play killer against me if you want, since I never play killer anyways. That's fair. I mean, we're starting to have like a full, you know, uh, lobby here for a custom game. I mean, if we can get Vam in, you know, we got Crystal and Bernie and you and stuff like that. So that's a whole the whole game right there. And then if anyone else wants to join in, you know, we can cycle around playing killer and stuff. I could try to get my rust kicked off on these characters. That I enjoy playing. I could do some of my fun meme builds because that build was evil. That build, that build was like, I'm sorry. I would always say at the end game chat, um, 
I would always say I'm sorry when I use one of those builds because I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry, but that could not have been fun to just be sitting there. Because, like, you, you, what you would do is you would run her add-ons, the pig's add-ons, that make it so that it takes longer for them to take their trap off. And then you would run, um, uh, well, in the more recent builds, Face the Darkness, which would make them scream and interrupt it. And then you would also, um, you could run things that make skill checks harder. And then it's just evil. Uh, and if you don't run, that's how the old build was. When I didn't use Face the Darkness, I would use things that made your skill checks harder. Um, and then that would make it so much better. Like, it would make it so much worse. Um, and it was, like, so, so fun. Um, another fun one is uh, playing the Plague, but then using the Interaction Timer extension one and just vomiting on, like, everything. And so it's just, like, if they do anything, if you touch a gen, if you touch a, a chest, if you touch anything, you're just infected. And then you run... Um, you run uh, her add-on that also allows her to more frequently go into her actual enhanced stance. And now that, now that everybody is, like, injured all the time, you just vomit on them and they die. It's great. It's so good. It's so amazing. And then you run Devour Hope on that. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> you just completely eat them. Eat them whole. Like a full-on five-course meal. <laughs> Um, so I'm so evil. I'm just realizing, just sitting here, just like, ah, oh, yes, the times that I've like fucked around with people in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> so so evil. It's a, it's a good time, you know. Hey, let's go. Nice streak. Let's fucking go. I love to see the streaks. And also you guys get uh, channel points out of it, so. It is very nice. Did your stream break, I uh, stream, streak break crystal? Because I know you were on an insane one for a minute there. No, you haven't broken the streak yet? Jesus. I'm going to need to, I think eventually I'm going to add in the description below, I think I'm going to add like a, a goals section so that you guys are aware of everything. There is an exclamation point goals, by the way, that is a redeem. I mean, not a redeem, a uh, command, but a goal section that has my goals for the year. And then like, I'll cross them out as I complete them, if I complete them. And then we'll see kind of like where we're at at the end of the year. Um, and then I also want to kind of create like a... Uh, a section for um just kind of like uh, community accolades right i'll have like the top three cheerers maybe mentioned down there the top three like sub streaks or something like that or whatever so something something like that the longest watch streaks just kind of like a little like hall of fame i just got to remember to update that because those are all subject to, to change um, that's the only pain in the ass thing. And if I ever get actually like bigger and stuff like that, then I'm just I'm not gonna do it anymore because that would be way too much to keep up with. Um I'm reading I'm reading what I wrote there because I was that was a minute ago. I kinda actually forgot that it was there. Yes, okay, yeah. Yep, that's that's still pretty valid. One sec chat. All right, I'm back. Every time I turn to look at my laptop, my model will break. So I just like, <laughs> I just kill my, uh, kill the visual of my model every time. How you doing, chat? I hope everyone's having a nice, cozy, cozy night. I don't know how long the stream's gonna go today. I'm kind of having a nice time just sitting here playing some mahjong, vibing, but. I thank everyone for hanging out with me for the raids and the follows. Aha, it's not me getting nuked. I'm still like losing, but it's fine. It's fine. Actually, it's probably better for me to be actually on the left side. Let's go on the left side. Yeah, we, le we left side gaming now. I got second place. Oh, I got third place. Do I get deranked? Okay, there is no deranking, at least for the novice bracket. Fair enough. Back into the mines I go, because I am just 
losing. Actually, wait a minute. How do I cancel the queue? Let me out! No! I wanted to change the character again. I have never played Mahjong. Is it hard to learn? I don't think it's hard to learn how to play it at a base value, no. It's fundamentally at the very basic level, I'd say it's about as difficult as checkers. Um, but then once you're trying to get into more advanced win conditions and um, trying to get as many points as possible, then it would be a lot more advanced and then we're on the level of... Um, it, then you're on the levels of chess, I think, is a better way to put it. So it, it's like, it's kind of like Mahjong is like, I think, Genius. one of the best games for appealing, like one of the best, like, kind of like board kind of games like this, that has like an entry level that is appealing to, um, to new players, but then has a skill ceiling, right? So you can start at a checkers level and get to a chess level. I can't think of too many other games that are on that kind of level. It's usually just kind of like you're either good at it or you're not. Or it's a really, you know, it's a really easy game, a really hard game. That earlier screen gave me gotcha vibes. It is a gotcha game. So that would be why. You can roll for characters. This character that I am here is a rolled for character. Um, these three characters, which I mean, these two are the same. Each he made one and two. And uh, Miki here, they are... Um, Free characters. They're free characters, so yeah. Um I'll get rid of the nine. Cause I if I get a one or a four for this. You're essentially trying to create sequences and a pair is how you win. Is you want to have multiple sequences and then a singular pair. Um however, um there are certain things that happen, right? So when you're trying to build these sequences in pair, um, you are able to do so just by the tiles that you draw, but that little pop-up there that said Chi, um, you can essentially take tiles that other players discard. So these tiles all in the middle are tiles that these players decided that they did not need anymore, right? They do not need it for whatever is in their hands, and they're trying to fish for a better alternative, right? Um, you can whatever the last played tile was someone else can then proceed to request to take that tile to complete their sequence however you can only do this when it will complete your sequence right so you can't just be like oh yeah i want this east tile and you take it right it would have to be i have two east tiles and the third one completes my sequence right so then i can take their tile and complete a sequence but in doing that you remove certain wind conditions from being a thing, and then you have to feed into other wind conditions. Right? Um, but at the end of the day, the most simple thing is, is that you're trying to get um, just multiple sequences. I mean, I think it's, what is it, four, four, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, you're just trying to, yeah, you're trying to get like a, what is your title? Here, a uh, soul enlightener is my title. It means that I am a. I forget. I forget what it, the description is. It's I'm a moderately skilled player at mahjong or something like that. I don't know. It's uh, it says something like that. It's like you're a little bit. You're a little bit okay at the game. It's a little bit. Oh fuck. Uh, uh, they, they, uh, they, uh, they, I'll do that. Nice. Actually, yeah, no, that's fine. No. <laughs> Sheesh! Miki coming in. Not many points, though, but... Still a nice little hit. Puts her under, brings us up. I'm probably gonna get second. I got third. Okay, whatever. Yeah. And so, and then as, depending on what your combinations are and the way that you declare a victory, will decide how many points you take from other players. When the game ends, whoever has the highest points wins, and every subsequent person from that point onward um, has a placement based on that. Um, there are essentially two ways, two quote-unquote two ways you can win. Uh, there is um, one method in which the final tile that you need to win for your setup um, you win by using someone else's tile. So that mechanic I mentioned earlier of someone places a tile and you use that last tile to complete your sequence or pair, 
that um that mechanic okay that mechanic um if you if that is how you win the points that you should be entitled to gain you completely nuke from that one individual and so you take all of their points for your victory right the other way is that you acquire all the tiles naturally and organically within your hand without using anyone else's tiles that win condition will evenly take the points from everybody else unless there's an odd amount then it'll take it from the person who has the furthest point away from having a win condition. So, and when someone is sitting on a hand that is one point away from being a winning condition, that is known as 10. This is widely considered one of the biggest anime betrayals in evolutionary history. <laughs> what is? <laughs> what's the what's the anime betrayal? I didn't actually need that one. But it's okay. I didn't need the, the free dragon tile either, so fair enough. But yeah, so yeah, and then if you're one if you're one tile away from winning at the end of a round, you have something called Tenpai, which it puts you in a position where you are actually in a better position. You're losing at Mahjong is the biggest enemy betrayal. I mean, right now I'm not losing, but that could change very quickly. I also am not playing right now properly utilizing chi and and whatnot using the tile acquisition i'm kind of playing only with what i'm drawing in my hand and that's also shooting me in the back if i was playing with taking other people's tiles right now i would actually be in a better position but i'm just kind of like i'm trying to see if i can win at least one match just with a with an open hand with just like a reachy win condition but we will we'll see we'll see uh hey sunshine how you doing welcome in Hope you're doing well. We having some nice lo-fi and mahjong fun here. It's nice. It's cozy. And it's very anime. See, so, so right there, this person is winning because they had a three there that they needed. And so they could declare Ron, which means that all of those points that she just scored are taken from that person and go directly to her, placing her higher in the bracket. Um, there is different styles, though, of playing Mahjong. Um, and the rules can sometimes change depending on the quantity of players, because you can play Mahjong with three people or four people. I think there might even be a way that you can play it with more than that. Um, but I am not familiar with that if there is such a way. Um, but traditionally it's three to four people. Um, and the wind conditions change and the way that you play it change a bit. There's also some cultural things too, depending on the regions of either like, you know, China itself or other areas as well that might change how the tile systems work like there's sometimes like mini games that you kind of play using the tiles when discarded as well i have no idea how to play those this is like the only type of uh mahjong that i i know how to play um and i i, I want to get better at it and i want to learn more and get better with it and get more organic with my decisions because like that's the thing about the game is it's mostly just like it's rng that you learn you know i'm going to take sure. that sure it's RNG that you learn to manipulate, essentially. So it's all about you're being dealt a hand that you're trying to manip manipulate. It's very much poker, I guess, is the best way to put it. Because like, if you compare it directly to something like chess, chess is more technical, right? It's something that outright you're kind of formulating a strategy and adapting to your opponent. In this case, yes, that aspect exists, but there is so much RNG to it externally outside of player decisions that it is definitely a little bit closer to... I guess poker than um, something like chess and checkers, but I would say that it ends up being on the difficulty of chess when you're in the higher levels. But at the lower levels, at the beginner levels, it could be something equivalent to checkers because you're just trying to create sequences and pairs. So as long as you understand what a sequence is and a pair is, you're already one step towards learning what mahjong is and how to play it. So yeah. 
nerd now, you know? But I can actually teach people how to play this at some point. It's a little bit hard. Because me playing this and trying to chat and keep it lively since it is a very chill, there's not much to watch here um, kind of game. Um... It takes like all of my brain cells, and then when someone says something or something reacts oh. in some way, and it's even harder to do so. So, <laughs> smash. Um, but uh, no, that's me. Oh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that put me into last place just like that. And that's the thing, too. The game can change so quickly like that, too. Like, I went from being second place to last place in that one turn. <laughs> Smoking three cigarettes. It's funny. I've never looked at his emails before. Um. So, like, that, that person who disconnected and rage quit earlier because they got hit uh, for, like, the 20k or whatever it was, they... That's a hard hit, and it is very hard to come out of, but it's completely possible to recover from that. And so them giving up like that is just kind of like, I don't know, they're, they're kind of lame. <laughs> the emote Miki used, yeah. Yeah. She, she literally had my Yandere uh, emote on the ready. She probably was about to win and then this Ichi, the Ichihime over here did. And then she was just like, fuck you. <laughs> I was about to do something. And the thing is, is if two people simultaneously claim a victory at the same time, that can happen, then you'll get nuked twice. So, like, for instance, if the tile that I place, these two both need it, and they both at the same time declare Ron, right? They both can nuke me at the same time and secure the points that they are allotted to win. So she needs 6k, she'll get 6k, she'll get, I don't know, her setup gives her 12k, I'll get nuked for that full amount, and they'll gain the points that they should get from that. So you can also get kinged on. It's completely possible for all three parties here to nuke one person at the same time for a fuck ton of points. And you can go negative, but it doesn't remove you from the game. So just because you go negative doesn't mean that you cannot play, and it does not mean that you cannot win. Um, so, alright, so now I'm in a win condition. I'm going to let this auto, because I don't care. So, as, as I get to the... the uh, Thing I need. I need to get a five. I need a five, a green five. So this tile right here, which there's only two more in play. So if any of them play it, I win. Essentially. And I'll end up nuking them. And if I draw into it, then I'll auto declare. Um, and, and I'll take points from all of them, equivalent to whatever this all adds up to. I got excited because I saw that 9, I thought that was a 5. 6. And there's also, right here, in the center here, it tells you how many tiles are left in the pot. So once this is exhausted to 0, the round ends. And assuming no one has a win condition, nothing happens. If, um... If... People have ten pi that an hand that's about to win. Then um, they will subtract. I win. Um, if they, um, yeah, that's like no points. It's two k. Yeah, but I win. <laughs> Nothing changes. Um, but uh, then some points would be subtracted from the people who do not have ten pi complete. So. Slay. Yes. My first win, and it's only 2k. Let's go. A win is a win? Yeah, I don't know about that. Until I... It's been a while since I've gotten to first place. Let's see. Can I see my stats from here? Can I go to my account? Look at that. That's the last time I had one. I've been on a, a fourth place lose streak for three, and a third place for two. That's pain. That's pain right there. Absolute pain. But I bet you a lot of their profiles look like that too. I don't know, this person's a little bit more consistent. They're like, they're like, jumping up and down. How about Ichi, Ichi here? 
they're on a downhill slope, but they, yeah, I'm just bad. Look at this, I'm just bad. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't have those first place peaks like that, man. I ain't cool like that. Reach. Reach. <laughs> All right, hilarious. So I need a six here. I need a six of these tiles. I love this epic music plays. Also, look at my little tile indicator. It's a little bat. Instead of being, because usually it just looks like um, the Japanese flag, but I got a little, I got a little bat. I love the overlapping music of this. Can I turn off this wind track? I can, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so loud to me. And it's over the lo-fi. Nope. I'm just sitting here until someone places that six. Come on. Okay. Oh yeah, the turn also fluctuates back to the person who declares pawn or chi to take a tile. That's another another thing too. So you can kind of like lock somebody out of a turn if you keep doing that. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it's like your way of doing like skipping them. Bear, where, 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 bear, 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 where, bear, 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 where, bear, bear, where, bear, where, bear, where, 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 Thank you for the four months. How you doing, homie? Wrong. Let's go. Wrong. Another like 4K. Yeah. Slowly etching away at the competition. I'm not in last now. You know. Is she going to send me a knife? Am I going to get a knife emote? Because that's completely deserved if she sends that. <laughs> Pretty good. Kind of tired. How are you? I am okay. And in a similar boat. I think it's less being tired and more my allergies are destroying my eyes. But, uh, yeah. Last, excuse me, last played Hunt Showdown Bear. Excuse me, what? Hello, bear? When, when you know, when are we hunting? You know, when are we hunting, man? Come on. Damn, allergies suck, yeah. And I had the windows open all day today because it was like nice and I had a nice breeze. And now my nose is all fucked up and my eyes are dry as hell. And staring at three incredibly bright monitors is not helping, but you know, that's life. What did I come back to? This isn't Mojong. Oh. The fuck you mean it's not Mahjong? Uh, get rid of the eight. Stretch and posture check. Thank you. I definitely actually need that. The stretch, anyways. Thank you, Armors. Oh, two things popped there. That was nice. That was very nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'd be down to hunt whenever. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I might be able to snag some people for that. Uh, my buddies, uh, Aaron and Rain, both play a little bit. Rain, not as much yet, anyways. <laughs> um, and then um, I have some other friends too who might be interested in playing. So, so I need a one or a four of these type of tiles. I was having a lot of fun yesterday, huh? Not losing as much. I'm still noobish. It's okay, you're always a noob in hunt. <laughs> Unless you are the sweatiest person who's just camping in a bush with a sniper rifle, you're you're, you're just a noob in hunt. Like that's that's just how it is. It's just like <laughs> cuz the smartest decision in that game is to be the most like if you want to win at hunt, like if you genuinely want to win at hunt, you have to be the most patient and most boring person on the entire planet to to win at that game but if you want to have fun at the game then you're like kicking indoors blowing up things kicking you know shooting people with shotguns getting into crazy you know positions and doing all that stuff and that's that's what i find fun in hunt but if you want to be efficient and you want to be good at the game boom um then you then you have to be slow and meticulous and 
gauging it. Yay, like I'm like slowly, I'm like slowly eating them. Like, <laughs> it's all like such weak hands, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm tied up here with Miki. Ah, oh, it's so fucking funny. These people are probably like, what the fuck, man? Why is this scrub not uh, building larger scores? Getting into crazy positions is always fun. I mean, it's good to explore, you know? To try out different positions. There's a lot you can learn about yourself from different positions. Maybe even of your enemies, too. Uh, get rid of the five. So... Okay, this hand is kind of buns now. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. That might have screwed me. Holy crap, Garrett was last playing Nightingale? I never would have guessed. <laughs> That's crazy. I uh, get rid of... Yeah, I know I have no Yaku. I know. But it's not... I'm currently not in Fudoten, so... We but all of this puts me in it. I don't want to be in footy ten. Uh Bane. Shut up, don't out me. I think I think Prinny technically outed you, but by doing the shout out. But yeah, during this yeah okay let's how many of these are there there's still two of these okay but yeah during this big fight at the end i kind of camped a smidge um uh, but it was the last fight haha huh, huh, i still went down twice no i mean it's uh, that's the thing okay it's like you can it's not wrong <laughs> to, to camp or hold an angle and and, and smite uh and smite god damn it and hunt uh, that's definitely what you, like, should be doing. You should be able to gauge the situation of when you need to hold an angle and when you need to do it. But there are people who play Hunt who that's all they do. They will literally just sit there and hold an angle from a bush 200 meters out with a Mosin sniper waiting for you to come outside to snipe you. And those people are incredibly boring and I don't know how they have any fun with it. And half the time they, like, maybe get a kill and then I, I remember one time when i used to have my comments still on on my steam profile there was one dude who was solo player with a sniper staying really far out while my, me and my team were inside we fought like two other teams killed them we're just waiting on this guy we're assuming he's a whole team maybe he's holding an angle for one of our escapes and um ah oh, fuck i'm screwed at this point that sucks um and we sat there for a second and then i think we just decided we were like we were just like we're just gonna we're gonna just leave right so all we did is we just ended up going and um running um oh they take a little bit of points from all of us uh they put me in the third place because it took a little bit more for me than it did for miki um i mean i was in third place already but i mean further from her we were same points okay we just ended up leaving and then the guy uh went onto my profile later and was like you guys are such pussies and i was like what you mean man you have a fucking solo sniper sitting a mile away what did you want us to do come running directly at you through an open field to get shot in the head by you like and we're not going to sit there wasting our evening of relaxing sitting inside of this compound until you nut up to come and you know play with us like oh man of course we're just going to fucking leave like what are, we, <laughs> what are you expecting like the only way we would have been able to kill him is if we like would have rushed like crept up and slowly rushed him but he could have picked us off right and then held the corpses by you know having that angle and like, you know, I was just like, what the fuck, man? And then there's so many people like that in the game because they all they care about is their KDA and their and their star ranking, which means nothing because there's people of like six star star level like skill level in three stars because they get demoted. And there's people in five star ranking who should not be there because they're such a little babies, but they've gotten a couple lucky kills on higher ranking players and get ranked up. 
And then they don't want to be there either. That's the thing. Most people who are in those rankings don't want to be there because they're not that fun. So it's like, you know. Um, hardcore addicted to Nightingale. Oh, I'm getting nuked. Um, yeah, I don't think I have the attention span for that. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, it just would be so, so boring, man. Damn. Third place yet again. I was so close to taking Miki's spot there. I was slowly chipping away at coming up closer there. I was so close. Uh, not up to shut up, don't stay in the bush. Yeah, I mean, there's times for it, don't get me wrong. There's times when, like, you confirm that the people have shotguns and they're holding angles in a compound. Your team has two snipers and somebody with a mid-range rifle. Are you going to win a fight with uh, shotguns? You could, but there is a high probability you won't. And so, like, at that point, yes, holding the angle and deciding to take the slow game is probably your best bet. Because if you push them into being bored, they get antsy, they leave, you win in a ranged battle, right? But, like... If there is no reason for that to be the case, and you are just camping in a bush somewhere, it's fucking boring, it's just annoying, and it just kind of makes the whole game feel like, kind of like that round kind of feel pointless. It's like, man, come on. Like, play the game. I want to have those crazy fights. I don't care if I die. Kill me. Destroy my team. and Make us miserable. But, like, at least give us, like, a good firefight before that. Give us the good back and forth. You revive your teammates, like, three times. We revive our teammates, like, two times. There was some crazy grenade throws. You know, some crazy shit going on. Don't just sit there and hold an angle for, you know, 40 minutes. It's crazy. I've told this story a couple times. I'll sum it up. Me and my buddy Kieran were in a compound. We were in there. A dude comes, kills a duo, sits inside of a building holding an angle where he could see a majority of our exits. Homie stayed there the entire match. Didn't bother. He, I think he moved to one building one time and then he went back to the other building. And me and Kieran decided to be petty, and we just decided that we would wait out the timer, because if the match timer reaches zero, everybody in the match dies. And so we were like, fuck it. We're going to be petty with this guy, since he's being a little bitch, and um, we're not going to give him the satisfaction of killing us. So we just stayed inside of the building and held angles for the entirety of the match, which is about a 40-50 minute, 40, 50 minute match. We stayed inside that building for that entire duration, and that guy did not move. In fact, all three of us died to the actual timer. I'm like, so he was so determined to camp and hold an angle that he allowed it to be for nothing. He didn't get a kill. He lost his hunter. You know, like, there was nothing to gain there. And we were already prepared to die to the timer, so it wasn't like we were upset about that. So he lost everything for nothing. And that's crazy. And since hunters die and they don't come back, they're permadead, that was like... So stupid, so pointless. Um, but people, people are like that, man. I don't know. They're so, they're so sweaty for that one kill. Stop nuking me, people. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not eight thousand, five thousand. Okay, it's not as bad, but holy crap. <laughs> Leave me. Alone. It, it's just like, like what? Like we were joking, streaming, you know, talking, having a good time. This dude is playing by himself, right? This is a this is a guy who is not on a team. He's probably not sitting in comms with somebody. He's just sitting there by himself holding this angle. So we are keeping each other sane by having banter, talking to our chats, blah, 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 blah. He's just sitting there hard, sweating, occasionally leaning over to pick up his Mountain Dew and take some fucking Cheetos out of the bag. Um, you know, and, and, and just like, I'm going to get this fucking shot. I'm going to kill these guys. These guys are such little bitches. They don't want to come out of there. Blah, 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 blah. I'm such a better player. You know, that that's them. And we're just like, ha, ha, this guy is so boring. You know, so how are you doing chat? What's going on? How's, how's things, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just a weird, it's just the weirdest thing, man. And I, I used to be like when I first started, when I very first started playing hunt, I was somebody who would much rather sit there and hold an angle for a while. But that's because the game was like scary, right? You know, you, you lose your hunter if you die. You, you know, can go down so easily in the game. You know, it's all sound based. You're kind of overwhelmed by all the sounds and the things going on. And so like, it was kind of like one of those things where I was like, yeah, sure. As a new player, of course, you're going to be terrified and you're going to sit in camp a corner. But like, I've played now for hundreds of hours and it's just kind of like, dude, that's boring. And I want to I wanna get into a fight. I want to box somebody. I don't want to sit here and count how many wooden planks are on the floor of this room that I'm in, you know? So, yeah. 
but that is unfortunately the climate of a majority of the game is just doing that and even career streamers of hunt you know psycho ghost or you know average joe or whatever any of them will probably tell you that the smartest tactic if you want to win is playing like that but you're not going to catch them playing like that <laughs> that's the funny part like anybody who's trying to have fun in the game they bring like the actual fun loadouts they're not sitting there with a mosin spitzer ammo 200 meters out with a with a dolch as their secondary right you know the people who are having fun are the ones running around with a shotgun with dragon breath in it or uh double crossbows or whatever bullshit you know and i i respect that if someone absolutely just wrecks me and they're just rocking like double crossbow like double hand crossbows i'm like you get so much respect for me you, you were just playing the game for fun you know what i mean i have so much respect for people who play games to have fun and that they don't play it to be like can you leave me alone this is this is this is the first match all over again where i'm just getting nuked by everybody like I like these two have like nuked me multiple times now, like. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just just have fun with the games you play, man. The whole point of playing a game is to enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, and if you're having to take it so seriously that you rage quit out of a game because it didn't go your way, I think you need to find a new hobby. Like for real, like that's just honestly, like you're not enjoying the thing that you're doing, and you're probably making yourself more upset by Reach. um by ow, by um doing those kind of situations right like for me if i start to ever get to a point where i'm not like walking out of a gaming session feeling fulfilled and i'm feeling like i'm upset by it or by the people on it i stop playing it it's why i stopped playing dvd because every game was just up oh, it's a bubba in the basement bubba in the basement bubba in the basement and that's all it is. And even if I wasn't the one dying, even if they only got one kill on my team, the fact that every game was just like this boring thing where I didn't get any chases and like there was just these people who were being like, you know, you know, they were camped and they didn't they didn't get to enjoy the game. Nothing is more frustrating to me than knowing that somebody else isn't enjoying the game simply because someone's playing like an ass hat, right? So like when that was every match of just somebody, even if it was just one person, was just being tunneled and camped out of the game by a Bubba, it was very annoying because even if it wasn't me or it was a friend of mine or whatever, it just ultimately meant that they weren't having fun and in turn, we as a collective then weren't having fun. You know what I mean? And it's just like, and so I stopped playing. I quit. It, it just wasn't a thing. And me on Overwatch, it's the same thing. Yeah, that the Overwatch was another one I quit. I quit that one because... Being in the solo hell of ranked was horrible. You know, I, I I remember I think the thing that broke me was when I first started doing ranked back in this like the early two seasons of um Overwatch, I wasn't that good at it. So I got like bronze or whatever, right? And that's fair. I wasn't good. Um but then it was either like season three or season four, I think. I did so well. I won like 80 or 90 percent of my preliminary matches i had kill of the like the i had the kill feed like play of the game thing multiple times i had like the highest in damage or healing whatever it was i was doing for my role i had done so much and then it just placed me in like lower gold bracket and then i, I so i was just like what the fuck i like did so well what do you mean i'm only in gold um and then um from there I just was stuck in gold. Every random player I played with, every person that I interacted with was just so un insufferable and they whined and they complained and it was just so annoying. And I was just stuck in this ranking that I didn't feel I deserved to be in. I felt that I tried so hard to get higher than that and I got only there. And then I was just stuck within one to two ranks within gold. I just like said, ah, that's enough. I'm done with this game, you know? And it's just that, it was just, it was exhausting. It was exhausting. And like it'd be different if I had like a group of friends and we were we were all laughing about how we're stuck in gold hell or something like that. But it was just, you know, that wasn't the case. It was me against the world and it wasn't fun. And I was trying so hard just to get nowhere, you know, and so that I stopped playing. And I think people need to realize that it's okay to 
have enjoyed a game and find value in that game or just in general a hobby a, a, a media form you know whatever it might be it's okay to get to a point where you don't enjoy it anymore that just means that you just need to move on and do something else with your time it doesn't have to be some big farewell you're not saying goodbye to a family member who passed away you spent your time enjoying that type of media and enjoying that thing that made you happy for a time but clearly it's not there for you clearly it's not pushing you into the position where you enjoy it anymore so it's time to look for something else because all you're going to do is further destroy the thing that you do enjoy and it's going to lose value altogether and it's going to mean nothing and you're going to tarnish the memory that you have of that piece of media of that hobby that you enjoyed you know it's better to just step away and be like wow i really loved overwatch for the time that i spent on it right and not to sit there and look at it as the worst game ever fuck everybody fuck all the players you don't want to look back on something that you spent thousands of hours in negatively you know when you hit a point that is a wall like that either take a break or just quit it's that easy there's something else that you can look into there's something else that you can learn to enjoy that isn't going to make you want to like off yourself. Um, I had to play Spin in Overwatch 2 uh, after re rank reset and won every single game and was placed in silver. And I was like, okay, that's it. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand the rankings in those games. Like, I, I literally was like top of the leaderboards, winning multiple games, and then it places me in like shit tier. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's just, it's one of those things. Solos are so hard because of that. It's not really fun at all. Yeah, it's it's also like the biggest thing is like the the variance, right? Because like the, there's so many variables to you winning a match, and it's not just the skill level of yourself or your team. It's you also have to take into account the skill level of the enemy team, and just like you know, some of these games have variances and like you know who, what's played, what map you're on, all these things. There's just so many variables, and when you have no control over it because, you know, it, it, you know, you don't have like a stacked team that you can kind of manipulate the odds and you're just kind of fucked. You're just, you're just kind of fucked. Fourth place, baby. Let's go. Uh, can I get a game today that is either second or first place? Maybe. I mean, I haven't played this game in a while, so sure enough, I'm bad, but like, cheese. Do you play Valorant? I did play Valorant, yeah. Similar experience to Overwatch with that. I enjoyed it, I think, more than Overwatch, but it definitely fell into that same thing of trying really hard to only get placed really low. I don't think I ever got higher than, like, the second tier of rank, and every game just felt like a crushing defeat, no matter how well I did. And sometimes that was the issue. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh, only bad things happened to me, but... You know, there was times that I was the dead weight, but even then, it's like that's even worse because I I only ever really like kick myself when I'm do when I do badly. Like that's the biggest thing I like. That's the biggest thing a lot nowadays that I really just care about when I play games. It's less about how the other people around me are doing and how well I'm doing, because I know that if I'm doing well, then I'm doing all I can, and that's the only variable like I can control, right? If, if someone else is playing poorly or someone else is being an asshole or someone else leaves the game or something like that or is sabotaging or whatever, I can't control that factor, but I can control how good I am playing at the game. So, you know, I'll be upset that I am playing a specific way, I guess. Especially when I know that I could do better. Uh, I should get rid of the four, actually. That's okay. But yeah, it's 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 rough. It's rough. Um. That's why nowadays my my rule of thumb is is at the moment that I feel any bit of like a fatigue to a game, I just kind of take a break from it. Like it doesn't have to be a hard quit. I just I'm like okay, you know, I got a little bit frustrated with this or whatever. Like I don't ever really get mad at games. Like, I'm not the kind of person who's going to slam my keyboard or be like, fuck this game and alt F4. But it's like, okay, that was annoying. I'm going to I'm gonna not play this for like a day or two. Or I'm not going to play it for like a week or so or whatever. See. That's why it's been so, so nice lately. Um, it's been so nice lately with um, so many good games coming out. And so many good like expansions coming out for games. 
because it's given me the opportunity to play other games and in turn not be fatigued really by anything I play. So when someone wants to play something with me or, or if I want to play something, I don't feel bad about it by any means. And if it, if it is a bad session overall, it's not that bad because I have other things that I can go play and other things I can enjoy in the meantime. So it's kind of nice. Hasn't been good for my wallet, Lamel, but yeah, definitely feel it. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah. Especially not if a game has nice cosmetics because then, you know, I'm like, hmm, cosmetics. <laughs> wallet. <laughs> but right now, almost all the money I'm trying to spend is going into into streaming and stuff like that. Anything that doesn't go into the stuff that I need goes directly into back into this platform. I mean, I'm trying to gradually upgrade everything, both stuff that you see and both stuff on the back end so that you guys can hopefully enjoy the stream more and whatnot, because I don't know. I like constantly striving for improvements and whether it's things that I can control or like for my setup or if it's stuff that I can provide. I want to work towards those improvements over time. Like the next step is a mic. I want to get a better mic. I want to EQ it to all hell and let you guys hear me like right in your ear um, without any bullshit. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah, I. it's just how it is. And I also, I always feel like, I, you know, I, I always say this, I have, I have a lot more chill of an energy than a lot of other streamers who are able to maintain super high energy streams who are i i'd say naturally funny uh not that i don't have my moments but who are just kind of organically funny or at least able to appeal to a group of humor of that is of a vast group um um one sec brain 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 okay um and stuff like that and so like they can kind of just organically kind of get away with just providing their personality, but I feel like that's not the case with me. And I kind of want to work towards trying to elevate my content and work towards that um, in any way I can. Because I, you know, anything anything that I do, if I tried to be like that super high octane, super whatever, making the most lewd jokes all the time or whatever kind of banter that people do, um, it would come off incredibly disingenuous with me. Uh, Atomic. Hello, Kieran. Welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. How is everybody doing? How is the Slime Crew rocking? We're playing some nice, cozy lo-fi and mahjong tonight. And we're just talking. Thank you for the pats, Neo. How you doing? I don't... I can't get any more of those, so that's going to go away. Do I have... Am I in Furiton? No, I'm... I'm not in a good position right now. But I'm okay. I'm all right. I feel that I've literally noticed that my social battery dies at like four hours almost exactly because I do try to be a bit more happy. Yeah, I definitely force myself to be more talkative and a little bit higher energy. Like if you hang out with me, like if you if you think this isn't high energy, oh my god. Hanging out with me, <laughs> hanging out with me, all right, I'm actually in a win condition now, so I'm going to do this. Hanging out with me is like sitting on the couch, watching some nice YouTube videos, having some good food, and like just having some banter back and forth. I'm not the, like, let's go party, let's go get absolutely fucked up kind of person. I can be, don't get me wrong. I definitely can be. I could play the part. I could be the heart of the party if you want me to. But it's not genuine to how I am. It's just kind of me feeding off of it. I usually match the energy of the room I'm in, right? So if I'm surrounded by people who are a little bit higher energy, then I will be higher energy. Yay! Um then I will be a little bit higher energy, right? But if I'm in a room with people who are equally as chill as me, it's going to be the most relaxed vibes ever. You know, so... It's almost like... It's, it's, it's something I do subconsciously. I, I don't know. It's probably a factor of a mix of, of things throughout my life, but... <laughs> um... Da -da -da -da. Hi, welcome Raiders. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Kieran and Raiders. Yes, thank you. Welcome in again. I know I said it already, but thank you. And welcome in, Kieran's community. One of the most awesome communities I've seen, supporting such an amazing streamer and friend as well. So I hope you guys had an amazing time with Final Fantasy XIV and the progress through O Realm Reborn. Long journey ahead, but it gets cozier and cozier 
as time goes on with 14. So it's a great time. It's a, it's a very truly magical game. And I've met some of my best friends through that game. Uh, yeah, we just sit in, qu in, in Discord quiet, play games. Yeah, exactly. So it's just a vibe, you know? Mm, yeah, exactly. I match energies pretty well, but yeah, if it's just me, I'll be digging a hole in a survival crafting game and not saying anything for hours. Yeah, yeah, it's just... It's, it's a good time. I, I've learned to just vibe. I am someone who struggles with mental health and struggles with... um physical health issues and stuff like that. And so there's enough chaos in my life, right? With that. I mean, my brain literally sometimes says that I'm going to be in a panic today. And other days it says I'm going to be incredibly depressed today. Um, and I have no control over that besides what little medication can do for that. So if I'm in a, a situation where I can just choose how I want to be and how I want to do it, I want the calm. I want to have control over the storm and just vibe and enjoy oh. The company of those around me, and um, I'm gonna get rid of this screen tile because it's dead to me, um, and just enjoy it and just vibe in. And so it's really nice when I have friends that are like that, and it's perfectly okay when I have friends who also are a little bit more high octane because I feel like, you know, I enjoy that company too. It's just probably in less doses of it because I definitely do have friends who are like, oh my god, okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the bar, and then we're gonna go to the club, and then we're gonna go back to the place, we're gonna watch a movie, we're gonna drink some more, we're gonna do all this stuff, and it's like, that's fine, but I'm gonna hang out with you like once a month. <laughs> that's, because realistically, that's probably all my, my social battery can withstand, you know, is, is that for like a day a month. <laughs> See, my best friend is me. We literally are on the same exact brain cell. Like, I, she's, she's just alternate dimension me, basically. Um, we like the same things. We can talk about a topic for hours with no reason for it. I remember one time we were talking about Bleach, right? Because we both enjoy that anime and it's one of our favorites. We, she came over, we had like some food or something like that and then we started talking about bleach and it was five hours later and we realized we all we had to eat again it's it's always bleach is a fucking gateway see it's not just bleach but that is that is a series that a lot of people have seen and so it's very easy to discuss that and that's part of the reason why i like talking about that anime and talking about it and all that stuff is because most people have seen it same with naruto or same with um death node or uh, one piece i don't like but that is another catalyst right um because those are definitely approachable series that a lot of people have actually consumed um but like that is that that was our thing that was our gateway drug and so like we could talk about that for hours without any purpose and then it could get existential like me and her are just like whatever but i moved across the country now and i haven't seen her in like two years now so it's been pretty uh Pretty, pretty sad. We message each other very often just saying like, I miss you. I love you. Love you, bitch. Never gonna stop loving you, bitch. <laughs> but she is literally just me. In like almost all the ways. She's a little bit more zen than me, though, I say. She's a lot less chaotic, but at the same time. She kind of has to be. She's like in the medical field. She has to be a little bit more grounded. I could, I, I could afford to be a little bit more zany. <laughs> I've only seen the live action One Piece. I have seen 150, 170 episodes of One Piece. And I wish I didn't. I'm one of the apparently minority that does not like One Piece. And it's not even like I'm just being like, the biggest hater either. I wish I was, because then that just means it's a me problem. But I've genuinely tried to rewatch it so many times from the start. I've gone online and I've looked at lists where they say, oh, well, you can just skip through these certain arcs because they're filler. I've looked at lists that are like, oh, just watch it in this order or just do this. And then I've had friends say, oh, just skip to episode 300. It gets good there. You know, and like all these things, just just read the manga, just just this or whatever. And I've tried so many ways actually enjoy that series uh, i'm gonna put myself on auto because i just need one tile um 
And like, I just can't, can't hate it. I, I genuinely, it's one of the three animes I can say I honestly hate. And I don't know why. It just doesn't click. I don't like the art style. I don't like Oda's art style, unfortunately. I don't like pirates to begin with, even though I'd say the show is a bastardization of anything that is pirates, because after literally like 50 episodes, it's the least piratey anime I've ever watched in my life. Um, but then like, yeah, on top of that, it just like, I, I, there's not a character I resonate with. Usually within the first like five episodes, I'm like, I, I'm like ride or die for a character. <laughs> no way she just declared Richie and Ron by ass. No way. Oh, that's like 5k, right? Oh, 7k. All right. What the fuck? That tide changed. Now I'm going to last place. That's crazy. Like, just like that, I get thrown to last place. That is depressing, man. But, um... Yeah, it just is... There's not a single factor of it that, like, appealed to me. And, like, the only, like... The only character that I even enjoyed in it is dead. <laughs> so it's like, god damn it. <laughs> It's like, I don't have any reason to enjoy that show, unfortunately. But it's so many people's favorite show, and I wish I could talk about it. The amount of times that I'll sit in a room with a bunch of, like, fellow anime fans, and they're just like, ah, so let's talk about One Piece. And I'm like, if I open my mouth about this anime, you are literally going to hate me. I'm like, I cannot. Because people who like One Piece will fucking skin you for saying something negative about it. And so it's just like, nah, man, I was like, I can't, I can't even, <laughs> there's no safe place for me to talk about my feelings about this show. And then the only two other ones are also ones that people seem to like, and I just cannot. And that's Boruto and fucking Black Clover. All three of those shows I have dropped and attached the word hate to them. The only ones, <laughs> like thoroughly dislike, like to the point that like even seeing like, a clip of it is like revolting to me like it's like a visceral reaction <laughs> there's no other anime that does that and i've seen some fucked anime i have seen things that i wish i'd never seen before in anime and still nothing more than, than those series bother me to that degree like i have watched anime series with the most grotesque the most inhumane bullshit happens in them and i'd still rewatch them over watching another 10 episodes of One Piece or Black Clover or Boruto. Like, it's crazy. And I don't know why. I have no clue why. I'm like that. It's just insane. It just doesn't fuck. I don't fuck with it, you know? I guess that's the easiest way to put it. I don't fuck with it. Everyone was beautiful in the live action. It was pretty good. So that's why I enjoyed it. Uh, uh Dota did a great job in helping with the choices for the cast. One of my best friends is super into it, and he felt like that too. Hey, uh, da, 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 da. dude, this is a bad hand. This is really bad. I'm gonna lose this one. Hands out. Um, I watch. I, I hate Devil Man. I, Devil Man Cry Baby like that. I watched the whole thing, but I hated it so freaking much. That's that one is like a tough one for me. I don't think I like Devil Man Cry Baby. Baby, uh, Devil Man Cry Baby. But um. The thing about that one is, is it's, at least the original is very iconic because it was the first kind of edgy anime, right? It was the first anime to come out that had darker themes like that and kind of created the era that we have now of all these Tokyo Ghouls and Death Notes and stuff like that. Without Devilman Crybaby, we would not have the anime we have now. That was the pivotal point. So there's like a respect that I have from it and like I can watch it, but I, I don't think I actually enjoy it myself either. I think it's just kind of weird. <laughs> It's kind of it's kind of weird um but yeah that's perfectly valid on that for me a lot of those big series don't respect your time and that's to me that's fine because the whole point of watching a long series like that and committing to watching a whole series like that is because you have the time to to watch it right you know what i mean like there's there's an anime for everybody just because they're big or just because they're popular doesn't mean you need to watch it if you acknowledge that you don't have the time to watch one piece and don't watch one piece it's going to take you an absurd amount of a time to do that um but it's a great thing for somebody who's growing up with those right like for me with naruto or bleach or something like that growing up with it and watching hundreds of episodes doesn't feel like much because i'm only watching it for 20 minutes a week right but it's for 10 years right 
So it's like it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it's it's different. Right. And manga, manga is even better. If you want to respect your time, manga is the way to go. Watching anime and expecting it to respect your time is the worst choice you can make. Reading the manga is where you're going to have the best time constraint. I can read an entire manga series of anywhere from like 15 to 50 books in a single day. Right. And so like that's a great time constraint because most of them do not go for 50 volumes. Right. So most series average around 12 books. So I can sit here in an afternoon and read an entire manga series. I read book one to 13, which 13 is technically a fan book, of Death Note in three hours. And that was while still being slightly distracted by watching something too, right? So like the fact that you can do that, and not everyone's a fast reader, fair enough. But like um, the fact that that is possible though, um, is, is it's a better usage of your time, right? Because you can read through a manga pretty quickly, especially because most of it is just pictures and you're kind of just skipping the pages and um, it's something you can just kind of go past. I am in a win condition, so I'm just going to let I'm going to let my guy autoplay here. Um, but watching it, yeah, then you're like, you know, maybe you can read a whole manga. I mean, maybe you can read a whole chapter, like a whole volume in like 10 minutes. But to watch like to watch one chapter because like an episode, an episode of anime is often either it's it's either one to two chapters of a manga, right? Depending on how quickly it's going, how much dialogue's being said, how much needs to be animated, and how much of the fidelity they're trying to put into it. So you are going to spend twenty to thirty minutes of your time watching an anime episode when you can spend fifteen so minutes or so to read the entire book. Which ends up being probably about a third of an of an anime season. <laughs> so it's like it's one of those things where it's just like, yeah, I, like whenever I'm like, oh, that's a really long series that I want to get into, I just read it because I'll kill it. I'll kill it in a weekend. Um, but like, yeah, and then like series that I think you need visuals for that are so so good that you just need to kind of see it visualized. Then it's like, oh yeah, then I'm gonna go right for the anime. I think I think that I think that what they're doing with One Piece right now, even though yes, I'm not gonna partake because I don't care. Um, what they're doing with One Piece and starting the kind of condensed series that'll I think it's coming out on Netflix. Um, I think is a very good idea because there's a lot of people who do want to get into One Piece and that find it daunting, right? They find it you know, go figure, you know, thousand episodes. You want to watch a thousand episodes? You realize how much time that is. Um, so them going through and deciding to kind of compress it, I think is a good move. It's still going to be absurdly long. It's still going to be so long because it's, you know, it's, it's not going to be like, it's still going to be hundreds of episodes, but it'll be more approachable for people to get into it than a thousand episodes. So I'm hoping that they just basically say filler be gone and that they decide that certain interactions and stuff like that can be reduced in, in time frame. And I think that'd be a lot more approachable for fans that want to enjoy One Piece and want to actually watch it. Because even though I thoroughly dislike the series, I'm not someone who's like doom or gloom. I think if you like the series, then, you know, you should get the best deal from it. You know, so it's like yeah, definitely I'm hoping the best for it. Just like I'm hoping that the live action brings in new blood and new people who want to watch it. Or want to see it, or maybe they just want to consume One Piece as a live action media. That's fine too. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm also like not the kind of person who's like super into incredibly long series these days because they tend to lose their point. Like, there's points in almost any series that I've watched. All right, we're in a win condition again, so I'm going to go auto again. Um, there is um, points in almost every long series I've watched where I feel like they kind of just should have just started a new series. Like, even though one of my favorite series of all time uh, is Bleach, right? And that is like 364 episodes or something like that in the original run of the series. And now you have the Thousand Year Blood War arc. 
Filler aside, the series should have ended after they beat Aizen. That should have been the end of it. There should have been no full bringer arc. There should not have been any of the Thousand Year Blood War. That should have been the definitive end to the series, right? After that, you can tell it's dragging on. However, it's in one of those situations then where the Thousand Year Blood War is better than the Aizen arc, in my opinion. I think it's a lot cooler. I think the way that they tie in the entire plot of the entire series um, is stronger. So, like, I'm not upset that the Thousand Year Blood War arc exists because I think that the themes and things happening in the Thousand Year Blood War are so much more interesting than little elitist eyes in the, over here in the corner, right? And so much more interesting than the throwaway Iran cars that were incredibly underused. Like, the Quincy's are meant to be throwaway. Like, it's just this whole all-out war where everybody is dying, right? But in the Arankar arc, they focus so much on developing these Arankar and the Espada only to throw them away at the quickest convenient route. And so, like, I think that it's definitely better written in the Thousand Year Blood War, but as far as should it exist, it should not, I don't think. And if it does exist, it should have been its own separate thing, and the full bring arc should have been omitted entirely. So... Grant, granted, the Fullbring arc will play into why the Thousand Year Blood War is impactful. I cannot say anything about that because most people watch it and do not read it. But it all it all comes together. Like the Thousand Year Blood War is a good example of the series went on way too long. Let's but like let's make it good again. <laughs> let's make the anime great again because it is one of the coolest arcs I've ever seen in a shonen anime. Um, it's very cool looking, it's very cool in plot, it's very cool in the way the characters interact, and it kind of, it, it becomes that victory lap montage that I think the series needed after the slog that was the filler walls and the full bring arc. So, it's one of those things, right? But like, a lot of anime fall into that exact situation, but they don't exactly recover. Like, Boruto should not exist, but... It does. It does. And there are people who will die on that hill that it is better than Naruto. And I'm like, I don't even know what to say to you. I'm like, <laughs> it is somewhere else entirely. I it's it's barely even it's barely even a Naruto series. That's how that's how far off the cuff it is. That it is barely even a Naruto series. The fact that there are Naruto characters in Boruto. That's about as Naruto as it is. <laughs> uh, I liked the Fullbring arc, but it be because I read the whole thing. Like, okay, the Fullbringers themselves are cool, right? But the arc was boring, in my opinion. Because, like, conceptually, the Fullbringers are arguably one of the strongest if not the strongest factions given how their power works because you have the quincy who are reliant upon the presence of reishi right they're reliant upon this resource existing and in the world of the living it's very scarce right because it's all kishi physical material the soul reapers you know, they have their limitations in what kind of card they're dealt with with their Zonpakuto and, you know, the applications of their skill, the, the maximum level of certain abilities and stuff like that, the teachings they have, the factions they're in, all that stuff, right? The Fullbringers outright, their ability is to pull on and manipulate souls themselves. And in the Japanese Shinto belief system, everything has a soul. From a person to a dog to a pencil, everything has a soul. So essentially, the Fullbringers have the ability to control the universe they live in. And yet, what do we get? We get a girl who turns people into little action figure-sized things and makes Ichigo go running around and fighting in a little playhouse. We have, you know, some woman who makes her boots dirty. And that's what they do with it. And then your strongest of all the Fullbringers that you have out there is Orihime. And they just do not want to give that girl a single spotlight in the entire series. And all she gets to say is, Ichigo! Every two seconds. 
She has the power to literally reject reality. She can say that something just doesn't happen. She can just look at an enemy and say, you were never born. And yet, she just doesn't get used. She puts up a barrier, blocks one attack, and then the next time it gets hit, shatters. She heals Ichigo, she revives him like twice, and that's about it. That's about it. That is the extent of her usefulness, is plot armor. And she literally could have came in. I, I would have been fine with her being useless in the beginning, right? And then after the Iran car arc and everything that happens, and she's like the damsel in distress, she just decides, you know what, fuck it. That's not going to happen to me again. I'm not going to be dead weight to my team. I'm not going to, like, you know, be put in a position where I need to be, like, helped anymore, right? And she goes on this montage, and she learns how to really weaponize her, her ability, and then she just goes on a rampage. That would be really fucking cool. But it doesn't do that. And it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Because she is the same from the start to the end to the epilogue. And I'm sure she will be if Kubo decides that he is going to actually do something with that anniversary chapter. So I just, I don't fucking know. It is so painful. I'm sorry, Boruto fans. You just want more of the real main character, Naruto. <laughs> they, want some, they want a different anime entirely. If you're watching Boruto, you're watching some weird sci-fi cyberpunk teen drama you're not watching naruto naruto is ninjas man that's not ninjas that is that is that is a, a paper bag that you wrote the word ninja on <laughs> like god damn um it's why the light novels are dope as fuck because one of the full bringers and one of the novels is powerful yes yes yep yep the um oh fuck what is the name of it um something in your own world or something like that yeah, there's light novels. Yeah, there's a, there's light novels. One of them is basically like an encyclopedia of what a full bringer is. And so it explains it better than the uh, manga and the anime did. And so it goes on to say about like what they are, who they are, what they're capable of. And it kind of highlights how powerful Orihime could be and how she's kind of not. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me says a novel. Don't fear your own world. Yes, that's what it's called. Yes. Don't fear your own world. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just getting demolished. That's what this match is, but I'm enjoying talking, so you guys are just watching me get fucked while uh, this is happening. I'm just getting absolutely railed in the background while this is happening, but it's okay. It's alright. It's fine. I, did, I don't want to win anyways. Like, you know? You know, chat? I didn't want to win anyways. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Man, I'll get rid of my North Tile, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're technically not... Quick, inject him with 40 cc's of friendship! <laughs> Please and thank you. They're, they're technically not canon, the light novels, but most people kind of consider them to be because they... I believe all but one of them... I'm so f***ing high right now! <laughs> I think all but one of them were written by someone other than Kubo. And so... Um... It just... They aren't really counted as being it, but like I feel like they should be, because like one of them goes on to talk about like, um, Yawa, Yahava, whatever you want to call him, Yawa, um, him. Oh no, I needed that tile. Oh, I hate existence. Um, goes on to talk about like the importance of him, like after the Thousand Year Blood War. Um, then you got the Fullbringer one and all that stuff like that. They all expand upon it there's one that talks about the kenpachis and stuff like that like one of the one of the older kenpachis and that one's fucking metal as shit too so it's like there is there's just like so many cool things that happen in it, but they're technically not canon so it's one of those things where i hope that they get recognized and acknowledged i don't understand anything in the game so you could say you're winning and i'd believe it i am winning um so in this game guys um you're absolute goal is to have the lowest points possible i have 8500 points right now these guys are in the several tens of thousands which means i am winning chat and um don't believe otherwise and anytime these guys call something and a fancy screen comes up it means they're declaring their loss chat they've declared and conceded 
Yeah, it's like golf. Yeah, that's exactly how Mahjong works. You want to have the least possible amount of points. And you want to get nuked for the fucking fifth time. Just like that, guys. See, I'm winning. That's not going to totally put me in the negative. It actually didn't put me in the negative. That's crazy. All right, get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Let 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 me out. Please. God. <laughs> let me out. Oh my god. I'm going to change from um Mr. Joseph here. Dodge. Um who do we want to play as now, chat? We've been we've been Ayn over here. We've been Joseph. We got Haruna Natsuki. We got Ichihime, Miki, Natsuhiko. Uh, Wanjiro, Chishi, and then Anju, who's next? Let's have some little flavor change. These are all very, very, very adorable characters. Maybe my luck will change if I play Ichihira? Yeah, I gotta play as the default character. Then I'll truly understand that she is the true pay to win. I think I'm going to head to bed having trouble keeping my eyes open. It's all good. Have a good rest, Armorous. Thank you for stopping by. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna, are, we, are we breaking out the OG, the original, the queen of Mahjong, Ichihime? Does she have alternate outfits? Oh, she has a couple. Ah. Damn, I need to get close to her. She has alternate outfits? Wow. Uh, that, that her voice gives me PTSD. Alright, I'm one of them now. I'm one of them. I am also playing the default. Everyone plays East. No one does South Configuration. Really? I think I mentioned it before, but I downloaded this game for the love is war skins. I got so overwhelmed, I never got to get them. Oh. Oh no. Or baby. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It, it's it's I was describing it earlier. I don't know if you were here, but it's it's very easy, I think, to get into. But as you're trying to get better at the game, it is very difficult. It's a very approachable base level game, but then it is a um difficult game to master, I guess, right? It's like it's like playing Overwatch, right? Overwatch is an incredibly easy to understand game. You push the objective, you kill enemies, GG, easy game. But to get good at the game and to get better with the characters, encountering the characters, then we're talking about a more difficult um, template to be on, right? So. Uh, I was going to ask, is there a difference in East and South? Uh, I believe the main difference is the length of the games, I think. I think a East game is like four rounds and then it's like eight rounds or something for South, I believe. I think that's the distinction. I think there's some shenanigans with dealers as well, but I don't, I don't know that. I've, I don't do South. These matches are painful enough. Oh, <laughs> they're so painful. Seriously, nobody has like a custom character though. Everyone's always custom. A pulled for a character. Everyone's Ichihime or Miki, which they're literally the only two characters you get by default. It, it, it's kind of nice though. I kind of like it though. Because there's not much of a reason to, because it just changes the hand that comes down on the table, and it also, like, changes, like, your icon and voice lines. So it's not as worth it as, like, let's just say gotcha -ing and, like, Genshin or Nikkei or something like that, where it's, like, you're seeing your characters more frequently and you're able to actually, like, interact with that. You're not able to do that in this game. It's not like you're seeing everybody sitting around the table. Um, so I get it, on one hand. On the other hand is, it's just, it's a good display of people not caring about 
the cosmetic and they're just kind of like, I just want to play Mahjong. I just want to play and enjoy the game that I'm on, which is kind of nice. It's kind of refreshing to not see people have to be like, ah, oh, yes, I have a uh, custom character, custom title, uh, all my tiles Quick, are cracked. Quick, although... him with 40 cc's of friendship! <laughs> yes. But I don't have, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be able to see their other cosmetics, but I'm only able to see the cosmetics that they interact with me with, so. I can't see if they have, like, custom tiles, a different playboard, or anything like that. Only the stuff that they actually pl put into play do I see, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll play that. Four and a half hours into stream, it doesn't feel like that. It's been a nice chill vibe. How long did it take us to finish up, um, Resident Evil? Was that an hour or two? Because it wasn't long, we were at the very end. Granted, I died like three times, so that, that did take up some of the, some of the time. What is happening? All oh, right, it's going to... Hide the count, the, the thing, the game went poof. Hello? It did not like me, uh... Alt tabbing, hello. It broke the capture. How did you manage to do that game? One sec. I'll fix it. It did not like me alt tabbing. It's like, you're either streaming Mahjong or you're not. Now it's not capturing at all. Hello? Hour going on to, okay. It didn't take too long. I don't know why the capture is not coming back. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Capture Spotify for a second. Here's Spotify, cool. Alright, now let's go back to... There we go! Yippee! Okay, I'm not gonna go full screen because apparently it did not like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it did not like the full screen. <laughs> it was like, na na na. You all tabbed, it was treated like a full screen game. Kind of hurt to do that, but I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I didn't even process what happened. Someone got nuked for 1k. Okay, cool. I don't know why I call it nuking, but yeah. Uh, we'll get rid of um, sheesh, this three. I have to go to the bathroom, but it's really difficult to do that in the middle of a match like this. It'd be different if I was playing on my phone and I could just be like, all right, go into the bathroom. Uh, I'll get rid of the eight. Then if I get an eight here, I can have six, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, here is the potential for another sequence. This is another potential for a sequence. If I decide to take one of their tiles, I'll need to build into east, which I actually can't. So I'm going to toss east. Because that's dead in the water. Uh, it's like... Okay, sorry. This track playing right now is really, really nice for some nice cozy mahjong. Uh, speaking of cozy, there we go. Now we're cozy. Um, get rid of the. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the three because then I could have created a sequence of uh, three, four, five, Junior. but. Or one, two, three, but I'm making choices, chat. You found the joy of lo-fi night, late night and chill. See, I used to do it, and then I just was always very much convinced that nobody would want to vibe with me. So I was just like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to not do that because, you know, who, who, who comes to a stream and just wants to vibe? You know, was my thought. I always just expected people to want somebody screaming at them, going, look at this chat. Look at this. Wasn't that crazy? Caught in 4K. That's crazy. Don't know why they specifically sound like that. Yeah, I still feel that. I'd still feel it somewhat. Because, like, the, the real reality is, is people like that, right? The people who are high octane, the people who are, um, you know, trying to grab your attention, who are clickbaity, who are, you know, whatever, say the craziest things... They are what the majority want to watch, right? So it is definitely a lot easier for you to grow and a lot easier for you to find your audience if you are like that. Finding people who are going to be chill and are just going to vibe and enjoy like matching your energy and just existing, that's a little bit harder. But at the same time, I think it's a little bit more special in a way because you're not feeding into the majority and you are just kind of 
doing what you enjoy and finding your niche and then you know finding that success in that niche is kind of nice but it is it is a bit discouraging at times when that is kind of it because nobody has like the attention span no. to really just <laughs> sit here and um just vibe um <laughs> even though i'm here right uh cozy for me nay deity rather we're here to chill and scream oddities at you i mean fair enough it's a nice mixed bag because I either have streams like this or I have streams where it's like me and my friends just literally murdering murdering each other as giant worms. So, which even then I'd say that stream was relatively chill as well. But I think a better idea of chaos would be Lethal Company. That would be that would be a better example of chaos. But yeah, I like chill. I like chill vibes. I'm glad. God, that was fun. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I got a little bit bored about. <laughs> An hour and a half into that, I think after we all figured out how to play, I was kind of like, alright. The, the, the balancing of the, the, the sides, I think, is a little bit off in that game. It seems very difficult to actually, like, win as anything other than the worm in that game. But then again, it's a, it's a silly little party game, so it's not going to be, like, competitively uh, balanced. Uh, I don't have any of these. You have a chill zone yourself, Bear Bear. I'm like Yoshi in the <laughs> subspace emissary in Super Smash Bros. That is such a specific reference for name, my god. That's so specific. Well, I have to go and get groceries in a bit, and then finally finishing laying the new floor in my room. Uh, I will move into... Uh, well, this sounds like a good time then. Get them groceries, and get that new floor. It sounds incredibly nice and actually exciting to be done with, um, renovation. And then get to enjoy said renovation. It was chaotic and frustrating sometimes, dude. I, I can only imagine. I, I cannot do anything, like, construction-wise or anything like that. Nailing a damn painting into the fucking wall. Like, nailing one specifically to hang, like, a painting or poster or something. I, that, that, that enough is, like, a gymnastic to me. Like, I am so bad at anything to do with handiwork. Anything like that. I can, I can, I can do pretty well at archery. I am a black belt in three martial arts. I am good with my hands in those situations. You put me in anything that has to do with fixing something or um, you know, like building something or like clay working or anything like that and I have the the competency of the most clumsy person in existence. I will manage to drop things, break things, hurt myself. I don't know how. And so anytime someone's like, "Uh, oh, you know, like I, you know, I, like I need to hang something or whatever. I'm almost always going to shove it off on somebody else because I'm just like, no, 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 no. I will somehow break something or myself. No, I'm good. Ass. Ass. All of my, all of my points went into, you know, I don't know. If they went into like it, I guess. I don't know. Not a inter what I, or inter strength man they didn't go into no, that's not even true though to be a martial artist that's dexterity i don't know man i don't fucking know i'm just dumb when it comes to construction i guess <laughs> construction and fixing things i also have a little patience for it my mother has learned it from her dad to renovate basically an entire i'm oh, sorry renovate an entire house and i'm learning from her oh uh, okay that's i mean that's a good thing i wish i i wish i was like that that'd be really nice I'd feel more inclined to, you know, save a lot more money because I wouldn't have to pay other people to do the things that I'm bad at, but... My wallet opens for those people, you know? Wow. Oh, I'm bad with that. I need to refill my drink and go to the bathroom after this game chat. I think I might have another Mahjong stream again sometime. 
Preferably without me getting my ass kicked the entire time. That'd be a really cool thing to, to not have happen. It's getting my ass kicked the entire time. Just go at it with the attitude of an Animal Crossing villager and just be like, huh, do it yourself. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I'll manage to... I, I'm just too destructive with that. And I'm so impatient when it comes to, like, fixing things and constructing things. And the last thing I'd want to do is do something that then involves the integrity of my home in some way. And then I cause more damage than I actually maybe existed before. I've never been good with, like, crafts. Like, I was a painter. I was, an, an, a, like, an artist. I drew and stuff like that. I could do that kind of stuff. Am I getting nuked? Oh, no, they're getting nuked. Thank God. Um, but I could never do stuff like play working or constructing things or whatever. Even like stuff like, um, oh, I did that. My auto did that. Okay. I was like, I was like, wow, that's crazy. I'm like, why am I getting points? It's like, right. I was in a win condition and I hit auto. Um, but, uh, yeah, I always just try to get other people to do it and I feel bad. I feel like such an idiot. I don't know. Like people have their different strengths and stuff like that, but when it comes when it comes to construction and maintenance and stuff like that of places and things, no 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 no. I am I am the big dumb. I can sit here and be a walking encyclopedia of useless knowledge to you if you want. I can sit here and tell you how to throw somebody three times your body weight. But I can tell you how to survive in the wilderness, <laughs> but you want to, you want me to to hang a painting without it being crooked? Mm -mm. No, no, no! It's going to somehow be upside down, and I'm not gonna know how it got there. <laughs> I'm not gonna understand at all. You're not gonna understand, and it's just gonna be something we never talk about again. Big dum dum, give me gum gum. Yes, big dum dum. <laughs> Every time I vanish like that, I'm turning around. <laughs> I hit the, I hit the, I have my nice little key bind that I can just hide myself and be like, ooh, zoom in, hi. We cozy. We enjoying the tiles. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I love my new stream deck so much. Just, I just, I love it. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. It is so funny. Big Hufumi cozy, yes. The big cozy, the biggest cozy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh shit, it's my turn. Uh, don't need that. Goodbye. I was looking at my stream deck, and uh, yeah, I even have like a little panel now that has a bunch of Twitch controls, so like I can nuke the chat with a click of a button. So if somebody's in here spamming some. Crazy ass stuff. I could just be like, oh, chat's gone. Um, I can also just like turn the chat into emote mode, follow only mode. I can play a 90 second ad, which I'll probably play an ad right when I go um, on my break because I probably should do that. And that'll also make sure that when I come back, the, the timer is reset. So you guys that are don't have subs or whatever or, or nit uh, nitro, no, turbo, turbo um, will. Uh, not have as much interrupted actual time. And I got a thing that I could just clip right here. I could just click a nice little button and it'll clip for me. Um, and then yes, you do not get you do not get up. You got a sub, yeah. You have the you have the immunity of the uh, inoculation. Uh, I got the sub only chat, and then I got a marker thing, and I got some like programs I can quickly open up. I have a soundboard too, but I don't have that enabled right now. Wait, let me. Uh, where's where's my uh, Where's my soundboard? Where is it? I'm gonna open it. I could play I could play a bunch of sounds and stuff, which is nice. I'll have more interactive things with like my model and stuff, like once I actually have my model and not this like free to use model. I'll do some more fun things like having different filters and effects and stuff like that that I can do, some more things like zooming in, zooming out. I wanna get get ones that are specific to like also just like what screen I'm on, because right now I just have the ones that 
they're very set positions so when i'm on my like just chatting screen if i do like the zoom in it's kind of like half the like it's only like a portion of the screen so like wait let me let me show you like if i'm on this screen and i do the zoom in i'm over here hi hi instead of you know being center or anything like that it's it's different different configuration on that screen so like i want to have ones for like each of the actual screens and stuff so it's fitting even though that is also incredibly cute to just peek out over the corner and be like hi chat how you doing food check i ate before well actually it wasn't before stream but it was two hours before stream so it was Seven hours ago. Hmm. Um, I could go with four, five, six, get rid of nine, one, two, three, seven, seven, and then complete these. Can I complete these? No, north is dead, so that would have to be a double, if anything. This two is dead weight to me as well. There's already three in play. I think this is about to be an exhaustive draw. Unless someone whips out a win here in three tiles. There we go. Why am I getting achievements? Twelve thousand from everybody. Sheesh. Damn, I almost I almost actually had the power to win that, man. Almost. But at least I got second place. This is the first time I wasn't in third or fourth place at the end of these. So winning kinda We got that. The power the power of playing Ichihime has pulled me out of the third and fourth place brackets. It's I should have known. I should have known she was this powerful. How could I not know? Oh, here's the soundboard stuff though. I could be like and bonk you. And you guys are being horny in chat. Give me a nice little bonk. Give me, give me a nice little bonk. And I can, you know, when you say stuff out of pocket, I can be like, oh, oh. And I can be like, oh. Yep, like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or I can be like, um. Or, you know. Yeah, a little riz sound. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I did think about anytime I get raided to just play one of the music ones I have on here and just be like, oh, someone raided me. Hey, welcome to Raiders. <laughs> just like, what the fuck? It would be way too funny. Don't bonk me. I'll do what I want. I'll bonk you again. Got you. Got you, bonk you real good. I'll be, I'll be right back. Uh, God, I'm going to refill my water. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Um, OMG, I looked away for a second and then I heard... Earthbound sound, and I was confused. Yes, yes. I'm hitting you with that surprise. The big, the big wombo surprise. But I'll be right back, chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more hydration fuel and bathroom.
So I have returned with water. We have water. We have the power of hydration. Okay, I was going to check something, but never mind. Anyone enjoying the vibes and the spectacular commentary conversation from the day of the fortune and curses? Give each other follow so you can catch more streams like this. I appreciate the commentary. Oh, it's the pride one. Little pride, little pride bee. Love the pride bee. Pride bee's a good time. Um, three out of the two. I have double fives. Double dragon tiles. Hmm. Could. I'm gonna get rid of the one. Oh, someone's playing a skin. Now I feel weird. Now I'm the basic bitch. We have a Haruna. I love Haruna. She's so cute. Her voice lines are great. I can't wait to hear her say something. They're so cute. Uh. I'll get rid of this one. Then I potentially have a three, four, five. Um, the nine I can get rid of. This tile I can get rid of. Gives me a sequence there. I have the two dragon tiles. Um. Yeah, get rid of the seven. Someone's gonna pawn that, right? Nope. Oh, never mind. They said no. Uh, I can get rid of the nine. This one I can try to bait a six, seven, eight, or four, five, six. Um, these tiles are kind of dead in the water too. There's a six, seven. Okay, so there's a six, seven, eight sequence there. Um. Hmm. That is nice. So now I can bait a four, five, six, or a three, four, five, five, six, seven out of that. Yeah, but if you guys ever want to actually play with me, there are custom games in the game. Um, there are custom modes in this game. Like, uh, you can play like a private match with no consequences to your score or whatever. Um, and it is a free to play game, which you can play either from, um, your client, you know, like I'm playing right now in my Opera GX, like I'm just on the internet. Um, but then there's also, um, it's a mobile, it's a mobile game, so you can play it on your phone or tablet or emulator. I guess there are programs that you can emulate the phone. So if anyone ever wants to play or learn or whatever, let me know. I'm not gonna teach you how to be some like grandmaster at this game, but. I could tell you how to play at the very least. A little, little, little bit of the gameplay in there, you know? The basics. Get your foot in the door and all that. Bonka Garrett for the horny. Um, put away this three tile. We don't need that. No, don't do that. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it again. There we go. Did it again. I was prepared that time. I had the bonk and stick ready open. <laughs> That's such a cute emote. I love that one. I also love seeing people already utilizing the uh, six new ones that exist. Why would you do that to me? I'm not lewd or horny. Those are those are those are lies right there. We all know we all know you stream with your pee pee out. We all know it. All right, six, seven, eight, one, three, four, four. I don't need this tile. This is a very uneventful round so far. I'm curious. I'm just, one of us is just going to get nuked at some point. That's what's going to happen. Someone's sitting on a tenpai in their hand right now, and they're just going to go whoop. 
Ron. How did you know that? It's because I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls. Really. This is widely considered one of the biggest anime betrayals in evolutionary history. I'm in your walls, Garrett. I'm in all your walls. <laughs> See, I can't wait until I actually have my model because there's going to be some fun expressions that I can do, like a Yandere one. So, like, I could actually do that zoom in and make it creepy. <laughs> Hard to do it with this uh, cutesy. I mean, the other models, the, the other design is going to be pretty soft too. But it's uh, this one's extra with the with the uh, <laughs> the ears and all that. The cheat. Well, that's a cute little tile. They got like a neon sign thing. Um, this double Richie. Hers is like. Is that like a planter? I think it's a planter with a little leaf sprouting in it because I think there's like stones in there. Six? Yeah, 5,000. Okay. The Haruna, she's, she's playing the nice skin that's getting her fucked up. You play the nice skin, you get fucked up. <laughs> that's the rule. Bully the person who has a, has a pay skin. Get rid of them. Get them out. You don't belong here. Either they played the game too much, or they, um, or they put money on the game, laugh at them, point and laugh. I totally don't have like six characters. <laughs> what? I think I want a different playlist. I still want some nice cozy vibes, but let me see if I find another one. Um. Uh, get rid of my East style. I found a playlist called Makeout Jams. That is fucking funny to me. Ah, uh, yes, I want to listen to my Makeout Jams playlist. So I can just start aggressively making out with somebody. Mm hmm. I'm guessing it's music you play when you're playing and just making out with somebody. Um, the songs consist of songs like, uh, I Miss You by Adele, Beside You by Keshi, uh, Agora Hills by Doja Cat. Okay, good night, Foo Foo, I'm gonna head to sleep. Good night, Garrett, sleep well. I'll see you later for Enshrouded. Slow Dancing in the Dark by Doji. It's You by Max and Keshi. Shameless. Uh, Moonlight. Yeah, these are all these are all very like popular songs that you would just listen to for that reason. Yeah. Who wants to make out the Slow Dancing in the Dark? You're telling me you don't want to sit there, smacking lips to. For this, you know. <laughs> oh my god. See, I could I mean, okay. I could imagine very slowly initiating more sexual things to this song. But I think just making out itself, it doesn't seem like a good making out song. Specifically making out. Like, there's things I could think of to this song, but it's not making out. <laughs> like, I don't know. But it's also not a good, like, fucking song either. It's, like, it's the in-between, right? It's in-between making out and in-between actually full-on sex. It's, like, right, right in the middle, right? It's like it's a it's a prelude song, right? Like it's a it's a it's foreplay. <laughs> you're not you're not gonna actually go fully down on somebody to the song. Oh my god! And because I just listen to it and get in my feels, 
I can't correlate to anything else. That too, yeah. I definitely, it definitely is a very moody song. But I could not imagine... Ooh, look at that fancy animation as I run. Let's go. My default character. Ooh, that's a couple points. Let's go. And a Mongon. Okay, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Honestly, yeah, like, this song is like when they just go out of the river for an event and they're wet looking into each other's eyes. Yeah, like, it's such a specific feel. Let's see, we'll, we'll go through this playlist. Um, We have, uh... You know, Noga Iwa is in here. Which... Again, can't imagine myself making out with somebody to this song. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've literally done the deed with Family Guy playing in the background. So like, there, there, there's no, there's no like, environment that needs to exist, but like, if we're making a playlist specifically to make out, and I'm playing this because we're gonna make out, this song is not gonna be on that playlist, what the fuck? It doesn't matter if it's on I'm so good. I'm gonna close my soundboard. I'm not gonna bonk. Garrett's gone to bed. I don't need to bonk him anymore. I can understand Beside You by Keshi. Yeah, that's a little bit more. Keshi, Keshi's a vibe. I could imagine that. Keshi, Keshi's music in general, there are a lot of tracks that I could imagine like being makeout tracks, right? But I, I definitely cannot imagine <laughs> this or that Joji track. Oh, Keshi Live, he's so good. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'd love to see him live. And we got... Uh, I hate that I know all the lyrics to the song. I mean, I love it and hate that. It's so, it's so hard listening to this song and not singing it, but I'm not going to sing on stream, so, you know. There's that. We got Agora Hills here by Doja Cat. Okay. All right, yeah, this, this I could make out of this, yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a makeout song, yeah. A little handsy makeout session though. We ain't just this isn't just making out. Like there's a, there's a hand at least placed on a thigh or something, you know. But like, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, this 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 I can get behind a little bit more. And Adele, I miss you. I feel like that's not gonna be one either. Okay, what else have we got in here? Work Song by Hosier. Oh shit, uh, play that title. You Right by Doja Cat? Which one is this? Uh, no. no. I don't think so to this either. 1000. Yeah, I don't think this is I don't think this is a good makeout situation either. Could imagine someone like strip dancing or something, I don't know. I can I can't imagine this being a makeout. This is this track is this uh this playlist is just wrong in so many ways. Or am I just old? I'm gonna play a random song. I didn't see Keshi in concert, but I went to Head in the Clouds 2021. Oh, and he was there. That's fair. Dude, that's awesome, though, going to Head in the Clouds concert, so. Yeah, these are, these are. What the fuck even is this song? I don't know. I'm, I'm in a, this is a weird, this is a weird corner I'm in right now. I'm going to play, you know what? I'm going to play my favorite, um, my favorite Keshi song. This is this is my favorite Keshi song. You want to catch me singing to myself randomly? This is the song you're gonna get. So good. Joji was there too. Yeah, I sure hope he is. He's like he's like the the character for that like the person for that label the only reason that label got really popular and then it was further expanded upon once they had like rich brian and stuff 
Hi, Anna. Your hourly fart? I feel like it's been longer than an hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rich Ryan is really good too. Yeah, he's really good. Keshi's not with 8 though, right? Like, he just features with them because, you know, it's a primarily Asian label. Right? He's not with them, right? Or did, or did he recently sign with them? Yeah, I didn't think he was with them. Is Jackson Wang with them now? Because I know he's been doing stuff, too. I haven't been keeping up with Rising at all. How are the games... How are the games bending machine? All oh, the bending machine games are going good. <laughs> you know I love RPing as a vending machine. I was so confused because I thought you were asking me how are the games of vending machine? I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, you're referring to my name. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I know he has his own label and collabs with them. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, it's probably more of a collab basis then. Yeah, this is my favorite Keshi song. And then if we're talking Rich Brian, uh, Edamame is pretty good, but what is his profile picture in Spotify? Hello? I don't like it. I don't like it. So low on reserve time. I don't know what song's gonna play as I'm looking for this track. Because I'm forgetting the name of the song that I like. Oh shit, it's my turn. I am so sorry, people. I have like three seconds of reserve time. Um oh, right, he did have a track on the Shang Chi playlist. Uh I'll know the song when I see its name. Oh shit, it's my turn again. Um Oh, yellow is really good too. Where is it? Wait, it was on this album, right? Oh, introvert's really good. Love in my pocket is my favorite. That one, that one's that was pretty good. Go on auto here, so I can keep. Oh, okay. I'll just go into Richie and get Rond right away. You know, five k. Oh, four k. Man. That was disrespectful. All last. This one's okay, but this is not the song I was looking for. That was so sad. That was so close to winning. I don't actually see the song in here. Oh, wait. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Cold. This one. I'm also not an avid listener, listener of Rich Brian. I haven't really listened to him too much since this album. Besides the fact that he's been featured on some things. And about the day I feel like doing this shit. Oh, mm -mm. Alright, so I have three, four, five, six. I could do either of these. A one and an eight here, a two, seven, three. This is a really bad hand. All my friends are always on my phone. Yeah, this. Been... Yeah, this is by yeah, this is by my favorite. And the music video is really cool of him like ice skating around. Really stylish. But I think in general, probably Edamame is like the best vibe, because I have to be like in the mood to hear the song. But edamame is just so, it's such a vibe. It's so so good. Um, skip. Uh, get rid of this too. So four five six six. I have an eight eight here. 
I can get rid of this one. I can go for a six or a nine here. I don't, I don't need the East Tile either. It is extinguished. I'll just end up in Furiten if I do get into the end, and that's not going to be fun. Because Edamame is like such a, such a vibe. Whoa. Such a good vibe. DPR live and EN. Uh, we're at. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome too to run into them. Fucking Ian is just. Oh yeah, it's, it's just Ian. That's that's all I gotta say to that. It's just Ian. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I can get rid of my five depending on what I draw next. A seven for that. I don't want that actually. I'll take the 7 in the instance that I get another 8, then I can have the sequence. I can have a different type of sequence here. This gives me some kind of variance, I guess. And I can adapt if I get a completion of either the 8 sequence or the 7-8 sequence of the other tiles. Mmm, I could con here. And then I can ditch this 5. Actually, I, play, I should have gotten rid of the 7, because then I could have gotten 5, 6, 7, or 7, 8, 9. That would have been smarter. But again, I'm not smart. So, we'll get rid of this 3, we'll go into this, and we'll go into auto. That's my favorite song by Hayam. Ian... Ian is this song. This is the song I like by Ian. So I danced. No. Seven K. This means I get second again. Come on, I was so close to first. I was so close. 400 points, man. 400. 400. I still get promotion points, but holy shit. Love Ian. I have a signed album of Mood Swings and Nowhere. The album is everything to me. That is awesome. I don't have any collectors like that with music at all. I have not a... Uh, I'm going to switch my character now. Let's see if I immediately lose. We're gonna play as we're gonna play as the furry boy. He's so cute. <laughs> he looks and sounds adorable. This will be the last one, and then we'll raid out. Um, because I just wanna relax and take a break from this. Earlier, I was being invited to uh, <laughs> the Hell Divers. I was getting invites, and I was like, "Ah, I'm already streaming." He quickly filled the lobby, though, so I think that he just either sent them out in mass or noticed that I was streaming. Mm -mm -mm. Well, he had a signing in LA, and I paid my friend to get me one. Ah, okay. Right now, the only thing I really want to get a signature of is I want to get uh, Ashiyoshi uh, Soken to sign something for me. Um, I think it's a big thing, as well as Yoshida as well from the 14 team. Um, I mean, I'd love to get a lot of them, a lot of their signatures from the 14 team. The paw, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my hand changes. I'm a dog now. A wolf, wolf.
Uh, get rid of this one. We yeah, had, uh, I already read that. <laughs> uh, I'll take the, I'll get rid of the four I have here. I guess. See, now I'm the only one with a fancy skin, so now I'm gonna get fucked. Watch. They're gonna they're gonna pull out of the, 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 the shadows some mystical ability to just devastate me. It's gonna happen. They're all at the same time gonna call Ron and just take like 40k from me. Look at his emotes, they're so cute. I love his I love his sad one. It's just it's the genuine sorrow on his face is insane. It's so cute. It's so cute. And the and the excited boy. We love Wanjiro. There's a couple anthro characters like this too. And then there's some pretty boys. There's a lot of pretty girls. It's interesting, too, because this game doesn't have, like, really often, like, its default, like, basic banners are just all male characters, all female characters. So if you are someone who's like, I only care about having, you know, like, females in my, in, in my roster, then you can just roll for that banner and only get the female characters. I don't know how this game handles duplicates, though, if you just get a bunch of, like, currency... Or if, um, or if, like, you can't get a duplicate. I don't know. I'd imagine you can get a dupe. I'd imagine. There's not really a game that doesn't have, like, a dupe system like that. So, um, I don't know. In any case, though, it's cool. Because, like, if you do only collect one gender... <laughs> I mean, you could just do that then. I've definitely had friends who play gotcha games and they're just like, I just want women. And then they always roll all the guys. <laughs> and I laugh at them. I'm like, ha ha ha. I'm happy that I just want all of the characters. So whoever I get that I don't own, it's already a win. <laughs> I just collect everyone. Wanting the harem and they get the reverse, yeah. Absolutely. Richie, I have Richie too, baby. Then mine's creepier. This person left <laughs> or disconnected. Now oh, they're back. Yeah, it's just genuine disconnecting. I was like, there's nothing that's happened to them that's bad, so. They might have just, like, closed the app for a second. Close the app to respond to a message or something. No. Uh, she comes back and wrecks this person. <laughs> she emotes. That's funny. I'm chewing on ice. But it's not weird right now, Joe. Sixty-nine tiles. All right, two, three, three, five, six, six, eight, one, seven. These are ass. Uh, six, eight, double white. I'll take this. That puts me in a double there. That song was cute. I like that. That song was nice. Honestly, I'd be invested. Uh, one sec. I am doing something. I'd be invested if I played, even not knowing how to play. Like invested in the gotcha, or you just mean like you'd be like you'd be trying hard even if you're losing or not knowing. Did I change the playlist? Yes, I did. Why does my water taste weird? My water tastes mad weird. 
the fuck? Wonder if my filter, my filter is going maybe. Damn, that's weird. Yeah. Gross. Um. Yeah, I changed it to like a Japanese chill playlist. So we get some more variety, but also it's still a vibe, you know. Like, like light Yagami level of traumatization when switching out the tiles. Oh God. <laughs> I pl I play the the white tile. Start becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh character. You never saw it coming that I would play the white tile at this time. <laughs> you imbecile! I will now hit you with Richie. <laughs> oh, ho, you played the two tile. <laughs> I can't believe you're that stupid. Rod! <laughs> I just imagined that pretty. <laughs> just that level of just overly anime. <laughs> See, I knew you would play that tile. You went right into my trap. It's not just tile with a slight drop of sweat off my head. I reach for a tile and grab it! <laughs> I reach for the potato chip and I eat it! Oh my god. I should make that a sound <laughs> redeems. Potato chip and eat it. So da boku ga kira da naraba dosuru koko de korosu ka ii ka boku wa kira. That speech lives rent free in my head. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Play into my hand. Let me be the Yugi boy for this last one. Give me give me give me your first place for this last one, please. Please. It's the last game. Come on. Come on, Mahjong gods. I'm a I'm a good I'm a good pupper. Look at me. I'm a good pupper. Look at look at the look at this. Look at these statistics here. Fourth, fourth, three, 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 fourth, 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 two, two. So bad. So if I look at any of these people, they probably got like more look at this one. Look at this. This person's a god. They're an actual literal god. I'm gonna go back to their profile. No. <laughs> and then I get nuked. Look at this. I mean, it's 1k, but like. Go for her. She's winning. She keeps leaving and coming back. She either has the most unstable internet or she keeps like alt like a uh, not alt tabbing, but like switching out from the app. Stop bullying the, the, the really fat sheep. Stop bullying him. He's precious. He deserves to be loved. And you're bullying him. He's a big boy. Uh, I get rid of the one. We doing his strategy early tomorrow, same time as usual. Rain is busy all day, so I'm assuming late night after rain. Hey, Rain, if you're still here, I remembered. I remembered that you were busy. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we'll be playing later on, okay. Fair enough. And I, oop. Yes. Uh, four, 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 four,
for that four because now we're at four five we can get six seven eight nine four four five six i can get rid of this four have four five six as a sequence on this to you yes um I really want food right now, but I don't feel like making anything. I already made food today, and I don't know if I have anything in the house that is, like, relatively quick, but also filling, because I do have little things. Like, I do have, like, those little, like, cup things of, um, like, mac and cheese. But they give you, like, the smallest amount. It's, like, basically, like, good for, like, a side and not actually for anything so fulfilling. I'm like, god damn. But I'm like, damn, something, something. The takeout is beckoning, but at the same time. That's money. That is Z monies. Got any bread? Always a nice filler to add. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I do, but like. Bread's also kind of. Not the really best to just kind of eat like that. You know what I mean? I don't know. Why did I open my other internet browser? There was something I was going to look up. Why did I open it? Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of that tile. I clicked back into the window to get rid of the other tile. No. No. Oh no. Okay, I didn't get nuked for it, but that's saddening, man. Actually really saddening. I wouldn't it didn't matter in the end, but that still depresses me. Also my hair is so long, holy crap. I'm clicking on my own food stream link in the server. I mean, in this stream, just to see if anything's even open on that list. No, nothing's open. Because that's a good tell of, like, <laughs> the places that I'd want to order from are open. Alright, I got all my, my Twitch drops for Hunt. I was a running Hunt stream in the background. Very nice. I don't know. I, I wish I had like cheese. If I just had like cheese, I would make like some grilled cheese or something like that. Because that would be like a nice, a nice, uh, simple thing that I could do. Just, but I don't have any cheese. The peanut butter we have kind of has like a graininess to it. I think we do have eggs. I could do French toast. I could do some like cinnamon sugar French toast, but that does take a little bit more effort. Not a lot of effort, but. I gotta crack the eggs, mix them, lace it, fry it, season it, do it multiple times, because I only do one bread, like piece of bread at a time. I got a cursed idea, Fufu. I really am scared. When it comes to food, cursed is not great. What is your cursed idea? I'm so scared of what you're going to say. Like, genuinely fearing for my life. Uh, you keep giving me fives. You really want me to have this five. So I'll get rid of this nine and keep that five, okay, game? You really want me to have that. Actually, that was a good thing, actually, kind of. Because I could get rid of this nine... One, two, three, four, five, five, seven, eight, nine. Um, why not utilize some of the cheese from your cups, mac and cheese, to make some grilled cheese? Ernie, the fuck is wrong with you? That sounds horrible. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What? No! 
That's no, that's cursed. That's cursed. That is indeed cursed. Besides, at that point, you wouldn't be making grilled cheese as much as you'd be flavor blasting bread. It'd be like, it'd be like those chips and stuff. It's cheese, though. Is it really cheese? I don't know if it's cheese. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know, it's a little too cheap of a, of a thing for it to be any real cheese, but, uh. You have a low standard for cheese. If cheese flavor, okay, that's more like it. And no, I don't want flavor blasted bread. Or essentially flavor blasted toast. At this point, if I'm going to do anything with bread, it's going to be um French toast. I do have a whole ass like freezer meal I can make. But I do not think I need to eat an entire fucking meal, meal by myself. Because I have like, um, I have like frozen enchiladas and stuff that I can put in and I'm like, I don't know. I'm leaning towards cinnamon, cinnamon sugar French toast. If I, if I cook something, if not, I could have a nice depressing bowl of cereal, I guess. Where's my phone? Is my phone anywhere near my desk? No, it's not. Why would it be at my desk? I know where it is now. I think about it's charging behind me. I was gonna see about maybe spending a little bit of money for some food. I don't know. I have like a, I had like a frozen pizza and like my lasagna was technically a frozen meal I had earlier. So I'm like, I don't need more frozen food. Having frozen food's bad. Like so, like having too much of it. But at the same time, the demons in my head telling me to order takeout. That's not a better deal in the long run. So, yeah, no. That's also pretty bad for you. But I'm also not necessarily having to get, like, McDonald's. I can get other stuff, too. But... Wait, what is this? Oh, you can change what songs you have played. I only have two of the songs. Oh, that's cool. Thing is, I have that food stream thing set up so people can order me food, right, if they wanted to. But the, <laughs> the places that are available to deliver to me at this hour are often closed. Like, if somebody doesn't order me food or something like that at the start of the stream, they're not going to. That or if I stream, like, 12 hours and then I'm awake, like, during the other times. Like, it was, it was a really good idea for when I streamed in the afternoon. Like, when I streamed at, like, noon, because all of those places were open, right? It's like it is like the most useless thing. I might as well just remove it from my from my about section because it's just like it's never gonna be valid. And if I am streaming at a time that's not my normal time, I'm probably way too preoccupied to go and eat, right? Because I'm probably like doing a collab or something, and I wouldn't want to take away from the people I'm with. That is like the most pointless thing. I thought when I moved to a city, that there'd be so many more places staying open in 24 hours. But ever since COVID, that's just like it's not realistic. Like, nowhere is, nowhere is actually open 24 hours. There was at least places where I used to live in my small town that actually had, like, places open 24-7. But after COVID, everything just kind of, like, went back to having normal, like, 12, 12, uh, 12 13 hour operation times. So. It's sad. I'd love some late night food. One thing me and my friends also used to always do was we'd eat a lot at like diners and stuff because those places were often open 24 hours. So if we all hung out at like three, four o'clock in the morning, we just go hit up a diner, which is also always really, really nice since they were always like cheap, right? So we'd go there and even if we were super like blitzed and incredibly hungry, we still wouldn't spend more than like 20 bucks on ourselves, like each of us, um, because it's just, the food's so cheap, right? You pay like, six seven dollars you get a burger and fries you you're like yo i'm extra hungry you get yourself you know some like appetizer too that's like five bucks and then you're like you know what i want some cheesecake and then it's like you know three bucks and you get a hefty slice of it you gotta you gotta like mcdonald's you're gonna be to get the same amount of food you're gonna be spending like 20 bucks <laughs> no. 
<laughs> on like, not even for the same amount of food, just for like a freaking meal and nuggies or something. Is that it? That was all last, right? Yeah, fourth, east fourth, yeah. It's ogre. Did I lose? Or did I get third again? I got third, okay. At least it wasn't last. I did, I'm not ending on last, but I still did get points lost. That was that was a that was rough. That was rough uh, odds. Oh, but here's the gotcha system, by the way. So you have all the boys here in the bamboo path, and then you have the sakura path, which is all the girls. And then you can roll. Um, and then you build up these currencies here, and then you can purchase any of the characters then that you uh want once you have it. I think we only have two places that are 24 hours. That yeah, sounds pretty standard. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's hot. Yuan Fang. She's cute. Wouldn't mind getting her and him. Um, wouldn't mind getting Yuzu here. Also, adorable name. Yeah, the Hibiki character that I never saw before. Wouldn't mind getting her. Hana here is great. Is she in? Oh, she's like a tiger girl or something like that? I don't know. Um, let's see. What am I getting? Ryan. Okay, so they're 150, not 100. Okay. Uh, Kutsuji looks pretty good too. So does Musa. Yeah, Musa looks hot. Just saying. Yeah, those characters I wouldn't mind getting. Everyone else is like, yeah, sure, whatever. It's literally just a child. Kid's probably like a legend. Anyone, anyone who plays that kid is probably like God. But yes. Holy shit. That was fun though. I'm glad somebody finally redeemed that and we were able to actually get around to playing it because it's a it's a good time. It's a good time uh doing that. I appreciate everybody for chilling and for better lack of the word, putting up uh with basically a stream of me just rambling because I'm sure a lot of you do not know anything about the mahjong or anything of that nature, but it's nice to be able to, to do that with you guys. I'm going to take this off before I forget that I have it on in the first place. Thank you for playing. Yeah, I mean, you redeemed it, so of course. Of course, of course. That's how it works. And I just typed the word play in when I meant to type in the word raid. We are going to raid out to homie of mine, Dark. He is playing some Helldivers. He invited me to play while we were playing, but uh, yeah, I am. Um, I was I was doing other stuff. Um, we'll be back again on Monday. I'm not sure what we're playing now. We're done with Resident Evil Three. It was a very short, easy game. Um, I could play classic RE4. I don't know. Um, still kind of figuring that out. It might be another chill stream. I might do some like Final Fantasy XIV or something. We just hang out, chat. I do some content in the background, or um, I don't know. Maybe I'll find something horror like that I want to do. But for now, we're just chilling. Thank you again for the raids, follows, everything hanging out with us today. Um, we're going to go hang out with Dark. He's incredibly sussy, chaotic-ass individual, but he's also chill, so I think you guys will enjoy him. We'll be a little bit more chaotic going from Mahjong to Helldivers, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Have a good rest of your night, morning, whatever time zone you belong in. I appreciate every one of you. Yeah.